What is up, everybody? Hope you're doing well on this lovely Thursday morning slash almost afternoon. I guess it is afternoon now. It's 12.04 for me. I don't know where all of you are, but I'd love to hear. And uh, I got everybody in all the chats right here in front of me. So that's fun and exciting. Uh, everything visible to everyone. Yay! We are live. We are so live right now on all the things. Thanks so much for Geek and Sundry and Nerdist for allowing me to play some Jackbox with you guys today. And I'm so excited because, well, it's about the most interactive game we could play. Uh, and I'm so glad we get to play it together. So uh, what we're going to do is it's going to be a mad dash free for all of people jumping in. But uh, we're playing Jackbox Party Pack 3 because Quiplash is one of the best of all the mini games in all of the Jackboxes. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited. How's it going? Let's say hello here. Oh my gosh, we got so many people hanging out in Twitch, on YouTube, on both the YouTubes. Uh, we got uh, a lot of people over in the Twitch chat. What's up? Denoba helping out, of course. Jimmersion, Gaeka, Agramonia, Alfie Plays Games, Raytoria99, Raytora99, uh, V for Kickass has a hi, I'm new name tag. Oh, well, welcome. We're glad you're here. Hey, Benny Love. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you for the compliment. And hello to everybody in the YouTube chat. Oh my gosh, so many people hanging out. Which party pack are we playing? I answered that one. That was from FL Racing 84, B Hawk 921, Cielo Viari, mm, Via Royal. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Well, you won't be bored anymore because this is going to be really fun. Uh, fun for people that get the code and get in there, and for people that are watching, you can jump in as a viewer and vote and as well. Uh, all right, yeah, Wizard Sniper feeling the love. Hello, hello, Jackson. Great to have you back. <gasps> You've been jumping into Magic the Gathering. Thanks to all of everybody in chat's help from last Thursday. That's fantastic. And this is a fun set to jump in on, of course, because they, they got big stompy monsters. But today we're playing Jackbox. Party back. Party back. All right, uh, so I need to get my phone pop in here. Let me create a little source projector so I can not be looking to the side the whole time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this save point logo covering everything up. <laughs> Just like that so that uh, I can make sure I get in the game. I don't even know if that's going to cover it. Let's see. We'll, we'll figure it out real quick. Here, we'll make a giant. There we go. Ah. <laughs> a murder party. Osborne. Who, me? What? No. No, I would never murder party. What? Uh, murder party is a very fun game, though. Okay. So. I am going to... Start up the quiplash. Do. She a load in. Oh my gosh, I don't think we're getting any sound here. Let me just adjust this. Mm, hold tight while I get some game audio. Okay, so we've got my microphone here. And we just need this. And uh oh. Hmm. That's that's a bummer. Well maybe maybe it's just not playing at the moment. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, we got a room code, and now I know right where it is, so I can cover it up more efficiently. All right, uh, so I'm going to go to jackbox.tv. Everybody, whip out your phones. You don't have to have the game. You just have to have me have the game. And I do. We got it. We got it right here. Oh, no. You saw the end. <gasps> this is a fun game in itself. All right. Just got a little logo there. Just going to cover it up, and then we'll hide it after I get in there in the code. Oh, gosh. What's my name going to be? JTT? Ooh, I said it, JTTO. Okay, uh, and then 
<laughs> I'll just keep my stupid name I already had since I accidentally, uh, I can't read things without saying them out loud. I don't know if other people have this problem or if it's just me and five-year-olds. Uh, <laughs> Especially while streaming when it's my goal to talk to myself out loud uh, the entire time. All right. Yay, we did a JTTO. <laughs> Divergent there, solving the mysteries. Love it. What a sleuth you are. Oh, and Jemersion gifted a sub to the community. That's your first gift sub. Well, that is very kind. And I went to Tiamat Night. All right. Uh-oh. Hype Train started over in the Twitch chat. So, oh, gosh, darn it. I can't get my Aja to work. Uh, but maybe we'll uh, have a chance to uh, troubleshoot, click some buttons. Let's see here. As y'all are getting in the room. Oh, we got in there real fast, didn't we? Uh, and if other people jump in on your mobile device to JTTO, you can join in the audience. And then as it says right there, your votes influence the game. So I'm going to hit everybody's in. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I'll just have to hum background noise. Wait, this is on Twitch. We're on all the things in all the places. Oh my gosh, I never shouted out the Nerdist uh, YouTube chat. Hello, hello. We have Milky H saying hello from the UK. We have Carl Yota Lee raising his hand. What's up? Yeah, Charles, uh, MTG Arena has been awesome during hashtag stay at home. I completely agree. Steven Summers, hello, hello, hello. And Greg Campbell, what's up, buddy? You did so much help in our uh, draft last week. Solid, solid MTG player red third. All right. Mm. Ah, I see, I see. No audio is on purpose. Getcha. All right. Okay, so we're playing a game now, and uh, we need something that would make a creepy replacement for the horses on... Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, nope, I'm missing out. Okay, just giving a fake answer to a question here. If you've never played before, oh my gosh, there's some answering of questions, and then we all vote on things, but I have to make up fake answers first. Don't make it too inappropriate, Becca. Oh, and that goes to everyone in chat. This is a wholesome family show here. Uh, <sighs> cool. Um, hmm. Not great answers from me, but guess what? I don't have to say that I did them, do I? Why, yes, I have censored the audience. That was a thing, an option. Uh, so there we go. All right. Ooh, we got so many people jumping in the audience here. Very fun. Bobby Lee, greetings and salutations to you as well. Greg, I'm doing great, but yeah, I also want to hear from everybody else. What is new with y'all? Anybody? Oh, I was asked a great question um, because we, we did a, a role-playing game show last night, uh, and someone in our Q&A asked me, what's something I've recently done for the first time? And aside from playing that role-playing game set, I couldn't answer with anything significant. Uh, I ate a uh, slow-roasted pork that my husband made uh, after 10 hours of sitting outside feeding a fire. Um, oh my gosh, we're playing Quit Bledge, I'm sorry. Uh, so that, I guess, eating really good pork. A dramatic line that Gilbert Godfrey definitely couldn't pull off. Ooh, ooh, I trusted you. I trusted you. It's my Gilbert Godfrey or awkward massage. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm voting on one. You can vote on your favorite on your device. Type in JTTO if you're just joining us at jackbox.tv. And you can be voting. Your vote will matter. Not going to make a political comment here. No, not going to. Oh, what's up, Jacques? Yeah, that's right, nerd fam. All right, uh, so the votes are in, and it looks like two people voted for I Trusted You and three voted for Awkward Massage, and audience favorite was I Trusted You. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Of course, we have uh, five. I thought it was more like seven players, but uh, at least five players playing in the game that could potentially win, but of course, audience votes make a whole lot of difference. What 80s TV alien Alf is probably up to right now, Vulcaning? Or social distancing. <laughs> Just Vulcan. 
What Alf is up to right now is Vulcan. Doing Vulcan stuff. Jackson, your eyes are swirling? <laughs> what? Oh, your character. Yeah, who all is in the game? Let's see, we've got Nathaniel, 26. I assume that's our Nathaniel and Crodanian. All right, so social distancing was a solid first there. Well done. Bonus points. Hey, good answer for everything nowadays, right? The weirdest event for which to camp out the night before. A funeral or Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I want to know whose funeral. It's so hard to come up with these things on the fly when the clock is ticking and you're on the spot. Oh my gosh, anybody that thinks of anything... I'm, I'm proud of you for your work. Nerdy Vixen says, hello from Tennessee. Staying home no matter what. I love that. Yeah, I get that people want to start spending money again, but uh, it ain't safe out there yet. Socially distance hugs to Geika. Oh, basically. <laughs> basically a dude who's famous for having an annoying voice. Oh, no, he's the, if you've seen um, Disney's Aladdin, he is Iago the Parrot. He's like a, a stand-up comedian that that was his big, big role. All right. It's sweet when your grandma knits you a scarf. It's really weird when she knits you either a bidet cover or underwear. I don't have a dog in this fight. Or do I? <laughs> I remember the time I won a prompt by audience votes alone. Ah, uh, yeah. Audience votes sway a lot. It matters. Choo choo. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh, pretty close. Pretty close. It went to underwear. Grandma knitting you underwear. Not a popular thing. All right. It was me. I'm Q T Pie. Cause I think I'm clever. A good name for roller derby team composed of nuns. What a great question. The Saint Rollers. That's a good answer. Yep. It might have been me. <laughs> I might have been the one that didn't answer. Hey, I'm looking at a lot of screens here. All right. But luckily, I bought this little stand for my phone on the interwebs. Uh, and it's very helpful for this. You, mm -hmm, mm, you get the weirdest image results when you search for blank. Best picture ever or an army of plucky chimney sweeps. Yeah, yeah. I would like, uh, I don't know, I think there's only one thing that comes up when you search for an army of plucky chimney sweeps, but I just like all those words in combination, so uh, that's fun. Jacob says hello from New Mexico. What up, New Mexico? I have a cousin named Jacob, also in New Mexico. There you go. Ah. Hey, it's hard. Oh my god, if she plays rap battles on murder y'all with fire, says Nerdmancer. Okay, a bad way to start a Valley Victorian speech would be, ladies and gentlemen, I suffered for years, but now I rule peasants or have to pee. This is really hard. Oh, I like both of these. <laughs> oh, so hard to choose. I mean, bodily functions are always funny. Especially when in the wrong place and time, but also, yeah, you get to you get to be the valedictorian and you get to stuff it in people's faces. That's how it works. Nicola's from Italy. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. <laughs> you just might love me, cry face. I love it. We'll see. Hmm. Told you PG in all games, but roasting people in Madverse. I, I didn't know if I was supposed to rap that or not. It sounded like it could have been a lyric before I read it. I'd have said search for weirdest images. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know what the best search term would be. I want to see some answers in chat. Oh, gosh. Okay, round two starting, and I need to pay attention because I was definitely the one that didn't answer. Okay. <gasps> ba -ba 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 So stupid. Um, um, 
<laughs> All right. Will I get in trouble for saying that? Uh, we. I was told no, no inappropriate things from chat. But what if I'm the most inappropriate one? What happens there? I guess I set the bar. Ah. <laughs> Okay, uh, now I'm still I'm still thinking about, oh, okay, so you can see who submitted their answers right here. We're still waiting for one, two, three, four, five people to do so, and 137 people in the audience. That's awesome, very cool. I know, Jackson, I'm up to no good, but then again, people of all ages can enjoy bathroom humor, right? There's a line, there's a line. We'll see where that line is. All right, uh, Judge Payne is in the game. I love it, having so much fun on Jackbox. Greetings from Michigan, oh, sweet. Love it, love me climbing some sand dunes. Although, I'm sure they're all closed right now, but someday they will reopen. Have I been playing any recent board games on these grim times? Not enough, but I did just realize that the Quacks of Quedlinburg is a bag builder, and if you have a friend have a copy or several friends, you could totally play that bag builder game from different places. Oh, we gotta play. Okay, the worst toy you could find in a cereal box. Razor tags or anything that's literally on fire. This is hard, and I will not be voting for my own. <laughs> Scrabble. Scrabble, you can't play. I mean, it would be a different game because each time you pull something out of the bag, you are limiting the choices for other people. But in something that's like a deck builder or bag builder, it's all individual. You know what I mean? Hi, Sound of News Sick. Hey, Master Chief over in the uh, Nerdist YouTube chat. We got Badger in the UK. What up, what up? What a bad undercover cop posing as a teen says. Twerking. <laughs> he just says... I would never believe a cop that came up to me and said twerking. I would know they were an undercover teen. Hands down, the worst roommate would be... I think they'll know. Draco Malfoy or Hannibal Lecter. Oh, goodness. I mean, I feel like one of these I could handle better than the other, but to each their own. Rotten Apple. Stephanie Turner, what is this in relation to? I guess it was a question that I've already forgotten because of my goldfish brain. Best humor by far. <laughs> well, you know, if you're gonna do something inappropriate, mildly, do something that would entertain a five-year-old, I say. Saw edible Scrabble a couple of weeks ago made from shortbread. That's genius. I uh, There's an edible gaming cookbook and I wish I could credit the authors right now. They sent me a copy a few years back um, and there's definitely some uh, bake your own games recipes in there whatever keeps Adam Sandler make what keeps Adam Sandler making movies crippling debt or trying to beat Happy Gilmore you're never gonna beat Happy Gilmore you're never gonna beat it I need a show of hands who is a fan of Happy Gilmore digital hands of course um, hmm this is hard gotta make a choice right they're both good I need to see Becca and crew in more Weave. Oh, Jamersion. I love the Weave Society crew so much, uh, which was then renamed TBD RPG, of course. Uh, and we'd love to make more as well. I think uh, it's, not, it's not out of the question when we're out of quarantine. Um, Zach likes MTG and Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I'm a big MTG fan. I can't say I've played much Yu-Gi-Oh, but... Uh, not against it. Oh, all right, that was mine. I don't even remember what the question was, but uh, oh yeah, what's well, something you don't want filled with chocolate? <laughs> That's That was my toilet humor. Okay, a street sign you would expect to see in Ireland. Ah, would you be here? That'd be grand. Would you stop there? I do indeed play the RPGs. Thanks, Stephanie Turner. Yeah, I, I set the bar for wholesome. That's what I do. The worst sign-off line you could have on your email. <laughs> Thanks so much. Sincerely yours. Uh, F you with regard lad. With, with regard lad. Pretty good. Or I eat poop. Hey, what did we say about toilet humor? If it's acceptable for a five-year-old to have written the joke. <laughs> it's acceptable here. Uh, oh, 
Oh, Tethered Raven. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, Weave is a really, really great game. And um, if anybody doesn't know, it's a role-playing game that comes with a sort of set of tarot cards and a set of specialized dice. And, uh, and then it's played on an app, and the app is free. A great way to make a dolphin mad is to throw a net. Dolphins hate that. They are not fans of nets. Except the basketball team? I don't know. I don't know. Is that a basketball team? So is the dolphins and the nets. Those are both things, right? I'm not crazy. Okay, I got <gasps> second place. Titus didn't answer any questions. You can't get points that way. I know. I don't know if there's an option to increase the timers, but we can check after round three. Everyone gets the same prompt. Okay. <gasps> Only one right answer here. Oh, I don't know what question that was in relation to, but sometimes there's just the one. Sometimes just one. There may be settings at the start. We'll check it out. Okay. <gasps> Complete the comic. How can you tell that's a tuft titmouse? How can you tell that's a tuft? How do I keep this wholesome? This is way harder than uh, the New Yorker caption con contest. Oh gosh. I don't know if it submitted my half finished answer. No, it did not. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, great. You don't have to hit submit. It will send in what you have so far when the timer runs out. Okay, so now we got to vote. Um, which one do you like more? Uh, how can you tell that it's a tuft titmouse? Look for a bra, <laughs> uh, because it looks like it has breasts. Its chest looks like Dolly Parton's. Uh, the tough titmouse bit. Can I see how bit bug eye? I just ate one for lunch. Uh, okay, yeah. These are all great answers. Even the no answers are great. All right, new rule. If you're going to type in the code, you better play the game. Wingspan, obviously, Benedict. That's a great answer. Super solid. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Bra's a good choice. All right. Uh, the bra cave, perhaps. No one went with there's a nipple because the tuft nip mouse is sitting on it as a thing. I don't know who wrote that. They're probably really clever. You are the worst. Do your worst best. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Andy, I just read your joke about toilet humor. It's pretty good. It's all a bit shit, to be honest. All right. Tide is still with a solid zero. And you know what? I call that a snail's egg. <gasps> Judge Payne won it all. Congratulations. Woo woo. Judge Payne in the house. What? Uh, top answer, social distancing. All right. We're going to play with new players now. And let's see what we can do about these settings here. Alrighty, we're ready. Okay, so let me, don't use that. We're covering it up. Oh, shoot. Now you know nothing. I'm sorry, Melon Bone. <laughs> I'm gonna restart it because we're gonna deal with timer here. And because I'm not in the room. Okay. Settings. Audience play along on extended timers. Oh, it is on. I don't know if we can extend any more than that. Uh, family friendly filter. Require Twitch. No, that's not fair to the YouTube peoples. Manual censoring. Huh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Allow room code hiding. That's what we need. Okay. Excellent. Create your own prompts. Interesting. Okay. Let's try this again. And we don't even need this logo here now. <gasps> it's question marks. Okay. I need a better username. Oh, shoot. I'll use my robot name. And uh, let's see. I think with the lag, I'll be able to get to it first. So let's see. XZXD. Okay, waiting for people to join. We got people in Nerdist chat. We got people in YouTube Geek and Sundry chat and Twitch Geek and, Geek and Sundry chat. Anybody can jump in. I didn't even notice a nipple answer. It only said the word nip. And it was mine. You guys are too wholesome. Oh, snap. Yeah, make sure you guys come back Wednesdays for Book Club with Hector and Friends. Uh, why do I only stream on Thursdays? Uh, that's when I stream for Geek and Sundry and Nerdist. They've got other stuff going on as well, as Stephanie just answered for you. Um, you can find me all over the internet, and I, in fact, can put my information right there. Oh, in fact, I think I stream five days a week. <laughs> all right, Raymond E. Walter, hello, hello. Good to have you here. Somehow I didn't make it in time. I'm sorry, Carlito Lee. Please, try again in our next round. All right, everybody's in. Oh, we have a sensor menu. Oh, gosh. I can censor someone completely if they say mean things. All right, that's good to know. Episodes menu. Mm. Okay, everybody's in. Oh, Jackson, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad that uh, you appreciate the, the stuff we're making. Yeah, grading says you can still join the audience, so jump on in jackbox.tv and type in XZXD. You can vote on things that you like. Or against things you don't like, I suppose. Oh, Patrick, like, no sad faces here. There'll be more choices, more opportunities. Uh, this is this game will go about 10 minutes, maybe three rounds. The worst job. Oh, don't read that out loud. That's secret. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Politically motivated. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I uh hope no one gets heated at my answers. I found them quite funny. Okay, what does the censor audience button mean? <gasps> I censored the audience. I don't know if I should not do that. I don't know if that really affects anything I guys do. All right. I should take up singing very melodious. Bernard, that is so nice of you to say, but I've been told by too many singing teachers that that is not a good thing for me to do. I make up notes, but they're never the right notes. <laughs> oh, two more people need to submit their answers. Oh, that's what we like to see as smiley faces, Patrick. Uh, Iris Branwin, thank you for following me personally. I appreciate that. Grading, you can... Oh, yes. I thought you were asking a question, but you were just informing other people that you can definitely still join the audience here. <laughs> uh, Righteous Broman, you're a star. Oh, that's your avatar in the game. You are a star, though. Turs, don't be sad. I'm so sorry. A cute thing a lawyer would say as he cuddles you. I will defend you no matter what, or your hair smells good. One of these uh, really incorporated the cue, and one is just a non sequitur. Oh my goodness. Uh, hard to decide. Both great submissions. All right, y'all can vote in the audience as well. Both so good. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go with your hair smells good. It was just so random. 
<laughs> right, just be great answer though. <laughs> uh, should be, I will take all your monies. <laughs> the worst job to have at the White House, either cleaning up the never ending mess or chief of staff. As I started to read the question out loud, y'all might know, one of these is mine. I won't say which one. <laughs> Bernard, you're right. I am singing the right notes, just in the wrong order. I do sing quite a bit. Uh, it's just, you know, only a problem for the people that live with me. Hello, Rob from Brazil. Learning English. Well, I talk very fast, so I am sorry. <laughs> I wish I knew how to say anything in Portuguese. Uh, solamente yo puedo hablar un poquito español. How about president? <laughs> no, it's the person who has to deal with them that's the worst. All right, a rejected less scary title for the movie Jaws. <laughs> Jaws is not necessarily a scary title. Which one do you like more? Angry Dolphin Chases People or Nibbles? I mean less scary is interesting hmm hmm versus is also from brazil home of the current reigning world champion in magic the gathering paulo vitor dama de rosa and second place at this year's world champion was also a portuguese speaking player from portugal marcio Carvalho. uh so you know portuguese rule in the world right now at least in magic a good sign your mechanic is ripping you off is that he says you need a new blank. Is it a steering wheelie <laughs> or mortgage? I like both of these a lot. Uh, yeah, if your mechanic says, mechanic says you need a new mortgage, you got a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like these both. All right, Nibbles for the win says artist Chris. Y'all, Uncle Lumpy, hello, hello. KGE Bali, hello, I'm happy to answer your question about the game. A good sign your mechanic is ripping you off. Mortgage got the points. Yeah, I picked steering wheelie and I'm the only one in the game who did. I just like the word wheelie. Uh, Quince wet weekend. Wait, what's that in relation to nightcap? <laughs> <laughs> okay, an ingredient you definitely shouldn't find in a bottle of water is H2SO4 or cyanide. Hydrosulfide? Hydrosulfide? I don't know what SO4 means. But that's a very smart person answer. Whoever, we have a scientist in this game. I am certain of it. You need a new flux capacitor. Devil Reaper, I would always go to that mechanic if they told me that. Yes, I know they were ripping me off, but in a fun, nerdy way. <laughs> Tentando aprender inglés. Uh, something about teaching English. Or learning English. Good, I need to practice. Okay. Why the ten man isn't married? He's empty or he felt he wasn't cut out for married life. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, these are both great. Yeah. Uh, sulfuric acid, Vicky Brenny knows their, their sciences and their steering wheelies. Sulfuric acid, yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that in my water. No, thank you. Uh, KGE, Baldi has a Jackbox party later today. Excellent. I hope you have fun. I love that you're trying to get the corner on the game when really it's just what people vote for. It's just what made, whatever makes your friends laugh. The thing you have to remember is not to let the timer run out without having answered at all. That's how you lose. The worst topping to put on a cake, jalapeno and mayo or tarot cards. <laughs> all right. All right. Good answers. Uh, Nerdy Vixen is a science teacher because he has an axe. I get it. Wait, what? This is indeed a work event, that's correct. Colorless, odorless, viscous liquid, soluble in water. Love it. Killian, would love to play, wouldn't, but wouldn't be able to resist making dirty jokes. Is really hard for me. I totally get it, Killian. Okay. Dreadpool, thank you for your sub to the Geek and Sundry Twitch channel. Yeah, we got that Erica hype emoji. 
Jalapeno makes me curious. Jalapeno cake? No. If the Liberty Bell were truly patriotic, it would make this sound. I resign or Finglu Mugwaf. I'm going to assume that's Klingon. No, this is like a Cthulian language, right? Oh, what is it? Someone knows a fancy other language. I do not speak any Portuguese verses, but thank you for being here. Hey, maybe I'll learn some from you. How do I say something? The correct answer is Kofefe. <laughs> I think that's Cthulhu. Cthulhu, is that you, Lou? Replace the sugar with salt for the cake. Divergent. I'm not completely opposed. <laughs> I love me some salt. Ooh, I'm in fifth place. Melibone is doing great. The Liberty Bell will say, the bell tolls for thee. Ah. Ooh, okay. Mm. Okay, I gotta think of an answer. That's the funniest thing you've ever seen. Okay. It is done. Audience play along. A new word for people that drive too slow in the fast lane. Butthead. Geico customers. Roadkill. Pokey. <laughs> Hero. Coneheads. Poopyhead. <laughs> I didn't understand what it meant to censor audience because I was way too focused and used up all of my time in the previous rounds to give my answers. Okay. We got slow-mo guys. James May. Lansom. Slow ride. Take it easy. Oh, Jackson's pointing out we got more viewers than last time. Well, that's pretty awesome. Glad y'all are here on the various channels that we're streaming to. You can see them all listed. That away. Up there. What's the worst thing to see out the window of your plane? A pterodactyl or fryer and brimstone. The worst thing. And she picks her own. What are we doing, Jasmine Gold? You mean like philosophically? Like why is this how we're spending our time? Uh, I guess because uh, there's nothing better to do and we all hate the outdoors. Um, but we are playing Jackbox Party Pack 6. So uh, it's basically um, each player, which I believe there's eight players nine players uh one two three four five six at least six um oh i got one i got one right yeah uh we are all in we gave these silly answers to questions and now everybody playing as well as everybody who's gone to jackbox.tv and typed in that audience code we're all voting on our favorite answers people came up with so what the statue of liberty needs added to her to better represent 21st century america a cell phone or a face mask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, these are both pretty solid. I would say an FU t-shirt, maybe? Uh, into the window of another plane. Night cat, not a bot. That's a good one. Like it. For the previous question, which was, what do you not want to see out the window of your plane? Uh, which reminds me, I definitely always think of... Oh, let's see what the winner is. A face mask! Of course, we're all uh, got quarantine on the brain all the time. The other one's more of a nice evergreen answer. Uh, Swiss dude got it. All right. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the plane question made me think of classic Twilight Zone. And the reboot of Twilight Zone has a plane episode, which is excellent. All right. What's the boogeyman's part-time job? Dealer at a casino or dance hall instructor? Ooh. The boogeyman. The boogeyman. The boogeyman. Yeah, he's, yeah. Both great. Both great. Love to see either. And I'm thinking of the Nightmare Before Christmas, Boogeyman. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Casino is popular with players, but Thunderwear wins it from the audience vote. Nice. Both people got a lot of points there, so, you know, can't go wrong. All right. 
uh, am I going to stream Magic soon? I'm going to be playing by myself tonight. Uh, maybe I'll stream. Something every American would support is a national money pipeline or a national impeachment pipeline. <laughs> uh, both of these pipelines, pretty good, yeah. Uh, so relevant. I'm a big fan of universal basic income, have been for a while, love reading books about it, and the studies are just fascinating of small sample case studies. Just give people money. Will is doing mostly his own thing now. <laughs> I don't know about tabletop, Patrick, my friend, but uh, I do know we're going to be doing game the game episodes hopefully when uh stay in place stay at home orders are lifted one can only hope the quickest way to get out of conversion conversation is to look at the clock and say time's up or gotta go COVID-19 test time oh my god <laughs> both excellent do we go for the topical or do we go for the just like not even rude because it's so ridiculous I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking at people and just saying Time's up! <laughs> I love that. Okay. Uh, R.T. Hayes. Let's talk more. Send me messages. I shall reply. All right. A national candy pipeline. That That's that's a nonpartisan uh, opinion right there. Everybody wants candy, right? Something somebody named Dale would say, Hi, I'm Dale, or that's okay, I'll leave. One of these is mine. All right, I'm. I can't keep a straight face when it's mine. All right, uh, it's time to split. Is a video game reference? I hope someone gets. I'm reading it out loud, Nightcat. Uh, just in case someone in a different chat gets it. The deepest cut I can give is uh, I want someone to name this old video game. Or a computer game. It's a pizza party. That's all you get. Dennis the Menace grew up and got the nickname Dennis the Blank, middle-aged dad, or Dennis the Tennis. <laughs> Such a funny movie. All right. I'm great at reading all the chants. chats, says Stephanie. Thank you. Hey, you guys are the ones saying clever things. I just get to read them out loud. <laughs> oh, Osborne is DMing a D and D game on Roll Twenty tomorrow. Yeah, Roll Twenty is such a great website. It can connect people, especially in times like these when everybody's at home. You can find people to play D and D with up there. So that's really fun, and that's very cool that you're DMing. Are you coming up with your own uh, story, or are you doing uh, a playset that uh, it has been published? An unusual reason to duel somebody is anime opinions, or they stole your grandfather's blue eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, these are so good. That's so hard to choose. I made my choice, though. I made my choice. They both made me laugh. One just makes zero sense. <laughs> I guess I like the non sequiturs a lot. Clever answers are great, and stupid answers make me laugh more. <laughs> Ooh, even split. I love it. Oh, and then audience picked anime opinions. I mean, for some people, that's a very serious reason to duel. Arclight. That's crazy. Uh, I'm your favorite board game mistress, I assume. Uh, I guess that's a big assumption. Uh, <laughs> you were thinking of me, and then uh, I was here. Magic. I was manifested because of your thought, so thank you for that. All right, the last lash. Everybody gets the same prompt. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, I want to have a good one. What's going to be? Come up with the full name for this acronym. Ah. 
acronyms are so difficult. Oh my gosh, if I look at chat right now, you're gonna give me an answer and, huh? <sighs> it's stupid. I can't come up with anything clever. Somebody killed Elmo. Silly Klingon eating. Yeah, that mine's mine's that. Uh, eh. Somebody else is going to be funnier. Skeezy, keezy, easy. Patrick, that's a good one. like that one. Oh, Z King got a new character. Orc Bard Fighter plays the drums whenever they go using Mage Hand to play an amazing plus 12 performance check. Love it. Okay, answers are Simp K, Sassy Kids Eating, Superior Kinky Edubation, Still Kissing Elephants, Seasonal Kid Energy, Sexy Kinder Eggs and Selena Kyle escapes. Oh man, this is hard. I wish we had we had more context of uh, using this acronym in a sentence. <laughs> Edubation is a great word, but I picked a different one. Edubation. Did the screen freeze? No, no. Not for me. Give it a refresh. I don't know if you can still hear me if your screen froze. Super karate experts who I like that up, Brando. Security killing elephants. That's an image. That's like Animal Crossing uh, extreme. Oh, look at all these coins. Yeah, Swiss dude, you didn't answer? Come on. Hey, I got some votes. Seasonal Kid Energy. I voted for that one. Yes. Selena Kyle Escapes. Yes. I know we got nerds in the house. Of course, that's going to do well. Still Kissing the Elephants. And the winner is Sexy Kinder Eggs. <laughs> I just realized what a Kinder Egg is, and making one sexy is pretty funny. I like that. Sexy Kinder Eggs will shock you. Hey, I'm supposed to keep it PG. Come back to my personal channel, <laughs> and then I can read your comments aloud. All right, uh, middle-aged dad was a great, great answer for Dennis the Menace. Yes, that's the guy. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Y'all, I'm having fun. Uh, how about we do one more quiplash, and then after that, let's try a different game in this party pack. She kill everyone. Arc light, I like that simple. Uh, Jackson says super quasi echo. Vincent super killer eyes. Ooh. Uh, the edubation one is clever. Is this a word I don't know? Should I stop saying it so much? <laughs> Someone missed the Yu-Gi-Oh reference. I did. I totally did. Oh gosh. Griffin, help me out. Help me out. Shrek kills everyone. That's the plot of a horror movie, for sure. Hello, just Maria the flower over in the Twitch chat. What's up? What's up? Yeah, you got to get that good education. All right. Hmm. Sadist kicking emus. Oh, Uncle Lumpy. Why would they do that? Because they're sadists. That's why. Kinder eggs is for kids. I haven't eaten one in 20 years. Gamble Gamer, what is your favorite? Candy. Or chocolate dessert. Uh, I think mine has to be many, mini, not many, mini Reese's, the small ones. They're very mouth poppable. You can pop them in your mouth. I don't know why I made up this new term that doesn't mean anything, but could be interpreted as quite dirty. I think you could do a remote game the game. It depends on the games, RT Hayes, but yeah, could happen, could be. Get some people in a Zoom chat and play a game. So long as we all have it, uh, in, in our possession, where there's lots of digital games. I've been really enjoying um, Ticket to Ride, uh, jump in a little Zoom chat, and then also play the digital version. I've played Mysterium recently. Uh, there's a Steam version of the game that's excellent. Let's see, what else? There's so many good board game apps. Um, Lords of Waterdeep is one I've played a lot of on the app on my phone. Oh, good night, Jackson. We'll see you later. Mysterium is great. Yeah, and then there's actually um, some additional packs you can get with more cards because they're clever like that. Okay, Gamble Gamer's favorite is a Maydee chocolate. Very expensive, though. Mm. 
Well, somebody needs to get you a treat. Supply kale for everyone. Draven Dresden. I love it. I'm a big fan of kale. You gotta massage it. Isn't there a death version of Jackbox? There is the uh, murder room trivia. Have I played Betrayal at the House on the Hill? Oh, Stephanie. Oh, so much. Not only have I played Betrayal at the House on the Hill, I've played the Widow's Walk expansion on an episode of Game the Game, and uh, I have played through the entire, entire legacy version of Betrayal created by Rob Davio with an amazing team, and uh, we played all uh, 13 eras, ages, oh, I forget how they're referred to, volumes, um, and we did it all on uh, on Game the Game, so you can find those videos actually on the YouTube channel you're currently on, uh, and it was so, so, so much fun. We also have an interview with Rob Davio. He came out after we finished our playthrough, and there's an episode of that as well. I believe it ha all has its own playlist on the Geek and Sundry YouTube channel, so yeah, that's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Uh, and, you know, uh, it depends whether or not you want spoilers, but oops. I let it fall asleep. Oh, shoot. Uh, I have one computer going into the other computer, and it didn't realize that I'm still playing. <sighs> now you know. Now you know that I have a four-digit password. Okay. So let's go back and play again. Online Ascension is great. Hold on. Are you talking about the collectible card game created by my friend Brian Kibler? The Kibster, he's a charming human with a very cute dog. All right, I'm gonna get ready to type in this room code and then you will see it at the same time I do with a slight delay. Let's do new players, of course. We gotta share the love, get some new people in here. All right, and I'm just gonna ask before I make this public, if you've already gotten a chance to play, maybe let some other people get a chance to play. No way to enforce this aside from the goodness of your heart. Let me reload here. Aw, oh, snap. My family and I love playing this set of games. Alondo McLeese. Playing Jackbox with the fam. I love it. <laughs> Random handle. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to uh, handle, handle any more than that. Uh, just knowing it's four letters. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Don't worry. I got my passwords on check. Oh, Patrick, that is very sweet of you to say that you really enjoyed uh, the legacy playthrough of my performance. I'm amazed with the people we're playing with. Um, really, really, really wonderful people. Jay Africa, uh, James Katica, and of course Xander Genre, who is everywhere and doing everything, uh, including two projects I'm working on right now during quarantine with Xander. Lovely human. Shiro! Yeah, Brian Kibler's dog Shiro is so, so cute. He's a little Pomeranian. Uh, all right. <laughs> no, random handle guess my password. It's one, two, three, four. No. It's not. All right. Uh, what's up? What's up? Just checking in on everybody. Okay, let's share it. Okay. Room code is N V Z F. And I'm in it in. Oh gosh, okay, we got Gollum, an herb, Doms, Lock Lane, Jason Ox, Potato, and Big Chief. Love it. All right, uh, pro tip for next time if you want to be one of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players, then uh, type your name in ahead of time and just be ready to go. Maybe I'll count down three, two, one next time to make it more fair and uh, just be ready to type in that code real quick. All right. <laughs> oh, Geika. Yeah, well, it's up to you. Um, if you want to play first and then watch the series, totally cool. I actually loved it so much. I got a second box of Betrayal Legacy that I have brought home. Oh, gosh. I think I might make 
my uh, best friend, roommate, and husband do that tonight. I, I, I brought this box because I wanted to share because I had so much fun playing the first time. So uh, I, I don't think, it makes you sort of the game master to know the directions it could go. Um, and of course, there's a couple different pathways that the game could go because it's essentially a choose your own adventure. There's lots of dramatic reading involved. And so uh, I, I don't think, yes, it spoils, but it, it, Mm, I think it's still a lot of fun, even if it did spoil a little bit. Depends on d people's preferences. All right, I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay. My virtual background is a piece of green fabric stuck to the wall with pins. A surprising find at Bill Clinton's garage sale... Oh shoot, I'm not supposed to read that out loud. I get so excited about reading aloud. Okay, well now you'll know this is me. Uh, uh, don't make rude jokes about a woman whose life was destroyed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't laughing at what I just said. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot. It's because when I hit sensor audience, you guys don't get to answer at all. And he did not hit that button. Okay, now I know. Now I know what it does. We figured it out. I'm so sorry. I turned the question off by accident. Tabletop Simulator. Yeah, that's a great website for sure. Uh, I actually purchased Wingspan and haven't yet had a chance to play it on there. Um, but I'm excited. I did sort of explore it. Cool cat 1674. Hi. Glad you're here. Is now a bad time to tell you I have no game audio. Geekstronaut, we don't know why there is no game audio, but I'm being told that it is best uh, that way um, so that we don't have any uh, copyright issues later on. Just so happens that my audio tech issues work out in our favor. <laughs> if Dom's had an underground club, the secret password would probably be dog shampoo or super money butter. They're pretty good. They're both pretty good. All right. And Dom's, is, of course, is the name of one of the players in this game right now. I like when they incorporate the players' names. Someone needs to make a Tiger King board game. Oh my gosh. Tiger King sent David into a spiraling depression. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe people are like this. This makes me so sad. I can't look away. <laughs> oh, Tiger King. It's so crazy that um, in quarantine, we're being brought back to this time of all sort of seeing the same content, at least people on Netflix, because it says here's number one everywhere. Uh, and we're all watching Netflix and various things on the internet right now. Okay, a surprise find at Bill Clinton's garage sale, Batman voice modulator or dancing grandma on a lollipop. What's he doing with either of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nightcat, tech issues or legal cover, who knows? <laughs> Blame Mel. Always blame Mel. Yeah, that's right. That's my lovely roommate BFF. Yeah, Z King. Tabletop Simulator. And then uh, uh, recently I found Tabletopia.com is a good one. Uh, Horsepaste.com is uh, someone has created a sort of like simple version of code names. In your job, you don't need a bulletproof vest. You need a blank proof vest. Which one do you like more? <laughs> a bullshit proof vest or a virus proof vest? In my particular job, I... Uh, I'll just answer specifically for what I do, which is this. <laughs> oh, 
why are we blaming Mel? She's so kind. Denova, you are so kind. Uh, she's very grateful. Denova has been supplying Mel with all kinds of help on Animal Crossing. And uh, I walked in and they had been fishing together for hours, which was adorable, really. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. All right, the name of a really crappy robot, Marvin, or the Poo Scoopter. What's it gonna be? You got some seconds. We're getting in those audience votes. Uh oh, I'm getting, getting my uh, my uh, Midwestern accents coming in full. All right. Mm hmm. Oh, Critter Nation! Great minds, great minds think alike. Critter Nation also suggested Tabletopia at the same time I did. I love it. Can't I wear both? Yes, Geekstronaut. You know, there's a lot of uh, blank proof vests that we need for all the things. Uh, Flimbs, uh, Flimbies wants to know how they can live stream this game for their friends. Uh, you just have to get it on Steam. A rejected song from the musical Oklahoma, Tortilla <laughs> by Potato. Are you just answering everything with the food product name? Because I love that. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, all you need to do is get on Steam, download one of the many six versions of Jackbox, and then screen share in your various um, uh, live video chatting software. Okay. The worst crime in Middle Earth. Either taking the one ring or stealing rings from Pocketsies. These are both valid. I love uh, another great mind situation. By the way, uh, we're going to be playing a new game after this round. I believe we're in round one right now uh, of our, our third time playing Quiplash today. But we're going to jump into another game in just a minute. And, of course, we're going to need all of you to jump in as well. I think uh, Quiplash is the one that has the most uh, – the most people can kind of have a big sway on the outcome. So that's why that's really fun. Um yeah. Gerald Grant is giving that advice. You just got to do it with Zoom. Share your window of the game. All right. A great line to use to insert yourself into any conversation for Imperium. Or, and what's the hubbub all about here? Oh, gosh. I mean, these are both excellent. I'm always that person walking into a conversation and like totally just interrupting everything. I can't walk up to a group of people talking and just like casually listen until it's the right time to insert. I'm just like, guys, listen! Like a five-year-old. People have to say the adults are talking. Uh, I think you meant if another game starts to post here before revealing. Ah. Uh, you know what? I can't I can't have favoritism of one chat over another. All right. We got three chat rooms going on, Phil. But also welcome. Hi Philly the gamer. And question Decca, hello. Vincent Yep, have you played D&D &D with Critical Role? I have not. I have not. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I got one. Finally have an answer. The worst job title that starts with assistant human sacrifice. Assistant, assistant of the assistant of the poop scooper. Assistant supervillain, assistant sanitizer, assistant face mask, assistant homework, assistant shaker and holder, assistant man. All great answers for the audience play along question. Oh gosh. And hello, back on topic, look into the Restream application. We're actually using Restream here. It's a very helpful application. Uh, yeah, that's how you get on three platforms at once. Uh, any news on Vampire the Masquerade? Uh, no, no, no. They just did that season three. And uh, no word on more so far, but I'm sure it will come eventually once we all start being in rooms with one another. Oh, David Flagel. Don't know what that means, but I love it. All right. 
Your awesome new witless witness relocation program name is either Secretive GPS Knowledge Unobtained or 47. Oh, all right. If you're going to get into this game, you better be answering. <laughs> Everybody likes 47. Sometimes the simplest answer. It's just right there. It's just a good one. <laughs> Uh-oh, random handle is uh, starting some stuff against the other chats. He says Nerdist, oh, they say Nerdist chat is best chat, who's with me? I don't know what the other chats have to say about that. You know you're going crazy when you hear the Rice Krispies say, kill them all. <laughs> also, even if your Rice Krispies are giving you good advice, I don't know if you should take it. Wolfie Chin, we've missed you so much. All right, no wolves that we've seen in this game yet, but right now we have the worst thing to wake up and find sitting on your chest. Either an overweight tooth fairy or a hospital gown. And why is the gown not on your body is the question. 47 for Star Trek fans. It felt like a Star Trek reference and I didn't know why. I was thinking seven of nine though. All right, who's 47? <laughs> not followed by your old name. No, I can't. That's a great answer. Okay. Uh, Y'all like my answer. Thank you. Thank you. Doms, I like your answer too. <laughs> That's the one that I said I finally have an answer for it. All right. Oh my gosh. Osborne. A scorpion? It happened to you when you were a child on an Italian vacation? Oh my gosh. Okay, here's something you don't want to find in your grandpa's tool shed. Either the way he sharpens his tool or a satanic ritual both funny answers all right so good so good <laughs> uh no one's with random handle over in the nerdist chat they said who's with me we need a rallying cry Section 47, the secret agent group. Thank you, Patrick Lyle, for this Star Trek reference. Look, I'm doing a re-listen of The Next Generation, and then I'm going to go from there. We got a podcast about it. So, you know, uh, I'll get there. I'll get the reference eventually. Charlotte of Hall, no allegiance to your own chat room? You just bounce around? You need allegiance. The worst person to be on a plane with would constantly poop their pants or put their stuff on your tray table. <laughs> I mean, obviously both are bad, but just like the random simplicity and aggression of, of putting your stuff onto someone else's tray table is hilarious. <laughs> oh, Agent 47 from Hitman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, sitting next to someone with the smelly poop pants all plane ride. Not fun. One time I uh, flew with a boyfriend that, the, you know, might as well have been that. Like, sitting next to someone farting on a plane is real bad. Almost as bad as when you're that person. <laughs> and you know there's nothing you can do. I didn't even get a chance to read that. Big Chef, where are you? Charlotte of all just enjoys typing the word poop. Sure. Yeah. You know, it's nice. Uh, I was thinking yesterday, listening to the news, it's awfully similar to the word Pope. A good sign that Congress doesn't like you. Bill 2467 says you are illegal or you belong to any form of marginalized group. Too real, my friend who wrote this. Too real. Well, Chan, I'm so sorry I grossed you out. I guess we can talk a little bit less about bodily functions, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it just goes there when you play Quiplash. Just saying. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. The, the, what you need to type in is NVZF at jackbox.tv, Philly. Okay. A terrible thing to carve into a tree, a potato. Duh. <laughs> or cut here with an X. Uh, okay, both interesting choices. Greg says, it's me! That's right. 
Random handle. Greg's with you. Don't worry. The Next Generation is the Avengers in Space, and I approve. I watched an interesting YouTube video, and I can't credit what channel it was, but it, it was a, a deep dive into why there's so much like old school versus new school. And an interesting thought that they brought up was the the movement of TV has just been towards um, serialized. You know, a story that goes on for an entire season is one storyline versus episodic style, which is old school TV, like all old school TV was self-encapsulated. You tune in because you're not going to be able to find the VOD anywhere online, obviously. So um, that's sort of like the difference in episodes is that uh, you'll sit down. You don't need to know anything. You'll just watch it all versus like needing to be along for the whole story. Uh, I thought that was just an interesting idea of why people are like, this isn't like the old thing I knew because it's in totally t different style of television. All right, uh, complete the comic. So what's this new thing you wanted to show me? Nope, my answer is no good. <laughs> Why a potato? I don't know, Z King. I just, uh, <laughs> I like the duh part in that previous question. <laughs> <sighs> the Avengers also go to space is a very great point, Tethered Raven. 90s animated Batman did it best. Yankee Butthole, please elaborate. I know some of these Batman episodes, but I can't say I've sat down and watched the whole series. Although I did have a film teacher in college who wrote for it in the 90s. Mitch Bryan, great guy. All right. Something that will use up all these dinosaur bones around us someday. Oh, gosh. Yep, yep. That turns into fuel. All right. So we've got, it's, uh, oh, to ride on one wheel. Oh, to ride on wheel. What's this new thing? To ride on wheel. Uh, it's a fidget spinner. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's a stone donut. <laughs> uh, a pizza, but this wheel is in the way. <laughs> It's a giant grinder. I made this thing that goes downhill. The answer to all our problems, a donut. Uh, okay, I really like fidget spinner as well, but pizza, but the wheels in the way, made me laugh too obnoxiously. I shouldn't, I should wait to reveal my answer until everybody's voted. I'm sorry, I'll try not. <laughs> but that was just, uh, that was good. All right. Nightcap prefers long story arcs. Sort of pointless if it resets at the end. Totally, I agree, but also it is sort of fun. Like, it's the same thing as a laugh track. It's something that's become novel now, but it was the way that things were done for so long. They didn't know any other way to do it. It's interesting. Uh, question deck of refers a hybrid, an overarching plot with self contained one each episode. You know what does that well now? I would say is animation. Um, like, like, I know I have no poker face. I was happy to plan. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Zero Chill Becca is, is my name. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I didn't say it yet. Okay, Rick and Morty, I think, is a great one. There's so much that is part of the overarching storyline or, like, built into the world that you can, you know, pause and tell your friend that's never seen it when you're watching with them. Oh, okay, so here's the thing about the, the Rick universe and all, the Rick Symposium, but also it's a self-contained episode. So, and I think a lot of animated shows do that. Oh, we got Ninfa T. Ninfa T? Hello, welcome, welcome, over in the Twitch uh, Geek and Sundry chat. Hello. Let's get ridiculous. Hey, Sprinkles, my buddy James, what's up? <gasps> the T-Boys has reset. thank you. To the humans. Oh, man, it's been a while since I've seen the word human. All right, so let's go play a different game within this Jackbox Party Pack 3 and see what else is there, because it's been a minute. Oh, sorry, don't type that in, don't type that in. Oh, there's nothing there. I forgot I hit it. Okay. Let's go back to the pack. Uh... Oh, Alexander Kamenik. Hello. Just arrived at the Geek and Sundry YouTube chat. How much did you miss? Well, you know, we've been playing for a little while, and you missed everything, I guess. Just everything. Yeah. Well, and this, of course, is serialized content, not episodic, as we were just talking about. <laughs> All right, we could play Trivia Murder Party. This is uh, an absurd trivia game show. 
course, we have our sound off right now uh, for music licensing reasons, and definitely not because I'm having sound issues. And uh, so I'll be reading instead of the super awesome, spooky, murder, <laughs> murder dungeon voice. But there's also gaspionage. What percentage of people have buried something in the woods? Reading in the back of a cop car. Have a crush on someone they work with. Guess right and win. That's fun. Audience can join, of course. Audience can join. Faking it. Uh, up to six players and audience. Everyone gives an answer, but not everyone knows the question. One of your friends has something to hide. Find the faker before it's too late. Ooh, this is fun. This is kind of like um, if you've ever played the game Spyfall or uh, Chameleon. Those are games where um, one person doesn't know what question everyone's answering. I love Trivia Murder Party. Okay, Chaotic Looney is voting for that. Artist Chris wants fake in it. Uh, Crow Danian says Murder Party or Gaspionage. Ultimately, it's all up to me, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, ooh, Dark on Netflix, j -Math. That's one I want to watch. I know it's a German show. Uh, it looks very, very cool. Highly recommended by many people. Okay, Philly the Gamer says Murder. Is TKO the t-shirt one? Yes, it is. That's always fun. You guys can order the t-shirt that we all draw potentially uh jasmine says trivia murder uh the t-shirt one says question deca gaspionage i could read it spooky <laughs> okay uh we're getting a lot of gaspionage all right oh for faking it you gotta see the other players in person good to know okay great whoo I know, Mavis the Rainbow. Oh, I like your username. Yeah, Spyfall is a fun game. And there's a, there's a free version as well. Uh, also a beautiful printed in-person tabletop version. Okay, let's try Gaspionage because I know about Trivia Murder Party and I love it and I don't know Gaspionage, so uh, I need to learn. Okay, so let's check our settings and see. Room code hiding on. Cool, 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 cool. We will keep it family friendly. Okay, friends, let's get into it. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put it in and then I'm going to put it in all three chats and I'll change up the order that I put it in chats every time. And I won't tell you what I'm doing first. Okay. Let me do mine first. We got C T L V. And while that's loading, let's see if it gets to you faster this way. Oh gosh, I'm in front of the code. <laughs> My head's in the way. Okay, great. We'll do this. Here we go. And we are full. It is done. Okay. Ooh, I have to select my agent. Oh gosh. Uh, of course I want the face mask, right? You gotta be topical. All right, everybody happy with their avatar in three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Caspianage. Uh, okay, we'll do murder trivia next, everybody. All right. Phil, uh, are you not able to watch video? Or maybe you're only watching video. Because I know you were asking for the password in chat. Just curious. Hi, Becca. You look so excited and happy. Irish Rebel AG. I am excited and happy. Uh, honestly, I just love playing games with y'all. It's so much fun to get to stream and to get to have you guys here with me. So thanks so much for being here. Ah, <sighs> almost got a little bit emotional. Guys, it's just so cool that, you know, if we were going to have this sort of situation where we all have to stay at home, it's nice that we can be connected to each other in this way. So I'm really, really glad that you're here with me. Kid for the kids, guess what? We got a big party going on. You can join as audience though. All right, I have to answer a question. What percentage of people have marched in social or political protests? So I have to guess the percentage, huh? Oh, it's just Sneaky. Sneaky will enter the percentage. What do you think, Sneaky? I like your face mask choice. 
Uh, I guess uh, maybe I did with my dad when I was a kid, but until 2016, I, I hadn't recently as an adult. Um, okay. Uh, do I think it is much higher, higher, lower, much lower? Ooh, ooh, I saw a, a Kickstarter game that was similar to this concept recently that looked really, really fun. Oh, I know. It was one that was reviewed over on Dice Tower. Okay. Mm, oh, I didn't even vote. I talked too much. Ugh, I'm an idiot. I was going to say higher. Oh, it was just barely lower. Okay. Hey. We're all, uh, if you sign a moveon.org petition, does that count? No, it doesn't. All right. Uh, two random questions. Oh, two questions. Why did I, oh, your username has random in it. I was like, why, why did I think it was random? Okay, so random Alix, Alix has asked, the stream will last until 3 p.m. Pacific time, and are we switching to any other party packs or just doing three? I do have access to six uh, if people want to play. What percentage of people have spare keys hidden somewhere outside their homes? Ooh. It's me. Uh, I'm going to say a very high percentage. Oh, but, you know, if you're living in an apartment building, you're not going to do that. I would say only if you live in a house. So what percentage of people? It might be even lower than that. I don't know. Just under a third of us. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Are we voting on... Uh, I'm not sure how this works. I don't know. Using 85 audience records... So this is really interesting. Okay, I thought we were, this was like polling data that the game has, but it's just based on what you guys vote. So if you want to troll me and just pick the opposite of the truth, you could do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost just want to be in the audience. All right. So 20%. Interesting. I mean, I don't. No, not of course. Are you guys just don't want to share the truth? You don't want me to know about your key? Uh, all right, Party Pack 6 is awesome, totally. You're voting on how many of the audience. Thank you, Turs. Okay, got it. Go tit. Greg, you are awesome. Aw, where are the mods at? How do we help? How do we help? All right, what percentage of men have bought basketball sneakers because they were endorsed by an NBA player? <laughs> oh, would you admit it, though? Uh, and, hmm, why does it have to be just men? All right. Uh, unless fewer than five audience members responded. Interesting. Okay. Got it. Bold big flank. Do you, wait. Uh, bold big flank, did you work on the development of this game? Are you from Jackbox? I'm trying to open my cuticle cream with the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, 12%. I guess lower, but it was much lower. Okay. Uh, the anonymity of the internet allows truthful answers here. Oh, pause versus pawns. I'm not mad at you for, for not saying the question said mid. <laughs> what percentage of people would choose Morgan Freeman over James Earl Jones to narrate their lives? 100 obviously <laughs> just kidding all right you're gonna have Darth Vader or Morgan Freeman uh what was that movie Stranger Than Fiction um where he's hearing a narrator in his head all the time I love that movie okay uh what do we think 79 percent oh gosh I don't know though because we got a bunch of nerds here I'm gonna say lower Hi, Patrick. We missed you. Ugh, work phone call. Ugh. Just kidding. You're being industrious, and I'm proud of you. Uh, all my answers have been no, says Philly. Oh, 66. Okay. Oh, yay. I got it right. Feeling good about that. And what is this test with zero? Hmm. Hmm. Who did this test? All right. 
Chody Foster. <laughs> I shouldn't read that out loud. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate. Okay. Uh, if you mean... What's the question here? Oh, we all, we all miss him. Okay. What percentage of people can fully arch their left and right eyebrows independent of each other? I think that's extremely difficult. I can only do one eyebrow. It's the right one. It goes on its own. And then the left just won't go at all. I wish I could. I've sat in front of the mirror for hours practicing this. All right. 80%. I'm going to say much lower. Independently. That's the right. That's the left. 3% margin of error, huh? <laughs> Joe says, yeah, I didn't think of the nerds. <laughs> hey, we got Star Trek fans in the house. Literally, these channels are called Geek and a Nerd. Philip F. N. Barlow, thank you for your Twitch Prime sub. Glad you're here. Is there a way to kick a player? I don't know. Oh, to do either one? I don't know. I don't know. Um, what percentage of people keep end of year holiday cards on display for weeks or months after New Year's? 100? <laughs> no, I shouldn't influence your answers, people who are giving the original answer. Okay. Uh, I can only frown independently. That's a, a different kind of arch. Sure. All right, what's, what's your answer going to be, test zero? Oh, this is one where I think somebody joined and then dropped out. Bumsville. All right, so uh, I'm going to say, I'll wait till you guys answer. 92% of audience records, I'm going to say much higher. No? I guess this year, I'm really in a Marie Kondo mindset, and I kind of, it depends if it was a cute card or like a really sentimental message. As soon as Christmas was gone, I, I recycled some cards. <laughs> it's hard. My sentimentality and my Marie Kondo nature are always at odds. <laughs> Hi, Minchiota. I see you. Okay. What percentage of people have watched fishing shows on TV? Oh gosh, there's one that I've seen only because uh, my roommate was watching, but I did not seek it out. It was a YouTube channel um, that was pretty interesting about like some extreme fishing. Oh, Yoda Mint, you don't have to delete your comments. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's see. Or maybe there was something inappropriate that I went over my head. Okay, 11%. Uh, That's a pretty low guess, so I guess I'll say slightly higher. Greg, thanks for keeping it classy. Thanks for being just a lovely human. All right, uh, in regard to cards. Oh, 45%. Everybody's watching those fishing shows. Okay. <laughs> Does Becca fishing on my Animal Crossing <laughs> account count? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, sure. We're catching real names of fish. Not even in San Diego and keeping it classy. What's up, Michael Page? Thanks for hanging out and chat here over on the Nerdist chat. I've seen one fishing show, but it wasn't really about the fishing. Yeah, totally. Are they ever? What percentage of people have worn Halloween pun costumes? Oh, a really fun idea for a party, or I guess a party you could hold virtually. Uh, I went to a, a pun party where everybody had to have a pun costume, and I went to this Goldie Hawn solo. No, sorry, it was a mashup party. And there was like uh, the Dalai Lama, the painter, and the Dalai Lama was a pretty good one. Uh, there was some really good costumes. Oh, let's see. Gadget and Inspector Gadget. Uh, yeah. Mashup parties are pretty fun. All right. <laughs> what percentage of people? Uh, I was so excited talking about my mashup party, I forgot to vote. <laughs> Ganyam Stein. 
is excellent. The best one I've heard. Dress as a holy cow costume. <laughs> Love that, Misty fan. All right. Wow. My score was hurt by not voting. Final round. Oh, my gosh. I want to go to one of your costume parties. It was actually a friend's costume party, not mine, but I did get to attend. Just dressed as a robot with a magnifying glass. Pretty good. What's the name of that costume, random? All right. Which band do people most readily associate with the 90s? Uh, Blink-182, Pearl Jam, Backstreet Boys, Smash Mouth, Ace of Base, NSYNC, Nirvana, Green Day, and Spice Girls. I feel like Smash Mouth is the new Rick Roll, so for that ma reason, I really want to vote for it. But 90s specifically, Green Day or Nirvana? Gosh, this is hard. I guess you guys are voting, so vote with your heart. Of course, my first album that I got in the 90s was uh, Spice Girls. Loved Spice Girls as a kid. Uh, just went for a wishful thinking answer. Which question was that, Nari? AI, remember a sh show about noodling? Yes, Osborne, I did watch that noodling on Deadliest Catch. That's what I watched. Thank you for naming that. Uh, Melody was watching it, and Deadliest Catch is a very fun show. Noodling is when you get into like a murky river and you catch big catfish I think with your feet you stick your feet into their little you know underground water homes little holes and when they bite your toes you pull it out I think that's what noodling is crazy way to fish <laughs> there's some crazy people doing crazy things in the world strategist master Jack's Jackbox is the best thank you for hanging out Nirvana is what I picked yep I just smells like teen spirit Reminds me of Guitar Hero and 90s. <laughs> There's too many to choose from. I know it's so hard to just pick one. Hi, Doug. Hope you're well. Oh, gosh. So sorry that you think something is gross. I don't know what is gross. Uh, okay. We're going to play with new players. And congrats to Bene Berlin. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, okay, actually, Gaspinage is great. But because people were very upset we weren't playing Trivia Murder Party, we could play some Trivia Murder Party next. Blink-182 definitely holds a special place in my heart. Love me some Blink. Oh, gross to Spice Girls, maybe? <laughs> uh, hey, I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I gave up on new music after the 80s, Chaotic Looney says. Look. You know, can't go wrong with uh, Motown. You could just stop there and have everything you ever need. Okay, Philly, I will tell you the password when you ask. Mm -hmm. Mine was STP. STP. I don't think I know STP. Noodling sounds like it came from Urban Dictionary. It probably did. Yeah, Rural Dictionary. There you go. 311 was one of my first concerts as well. Uh, amber is the color of your energy. I told you I couldn't sing. Oh, Z King, I want you to be into. I dream of that for you. Okay, so if someone has already played, just out of the kindness of your heart, I'd say maybe, you know, wait five seconds before typing in the code. And everybody, uh, pull up jackbox.tv, type in the username you want to use, and then you'll be one step ahead for entering the room code when I show it. We're going to play Trivia Murder Party. Guys, you make my face hurt from smiling too much. <laughs> I, uh, I just enjoy being here with you, so thank you for being here. And shout out again to Nerdist and Geek and Sundry for allowing me to be here. It's such a pleasure to get to hang out on all these channels with you. Okay, so let's make sure we like our settings. Extended timers, yes, audience, yes. Good thing we caught that. No requiring Twitch, skip tutorials. That will buy us more time to chat. No writing and drawing mode, disagree. Uh, and we'll hide that room code. Just so I can get in there, back to the back. No, wait, hold on. Ah, I couldn't see play because it was too uh, big and giant right in front of my face. Okay, that's what she said. <laughs> I don't even know that I made a pun. Uh, oh. Rural Dictionary, I like it. Oh, gosh. Okay. I am going to prepare to unhide, and then I will type in a different order than I previously typed uh, 
the codes into the chat rooms and maybe you'll get that because of a little bit of a lag we've got. Maybe you'll get that sooner in text form. So here we go. E-L-X-A. And now that I'm in. Okay, King, that's for you. Got it. Oh gosh, people are in there fast. We did it. Okay, I hope everybody is actually playing this time. No, no test audience. Okay, we've got Aquaholic, Doggo Spy, One Ham Steak. <laughs> I think the shark with the eye button is probably my favorite of these uh, little voodoo dolls. Bexitron is me, of course. Deru, Random Guy, Kai, and Adelego. We ready? Let's do it. Minch, don't worry about it. Hey, glad you're here. All right, how we do it? Hello and welcome, love this game, me too. Spice World, uh, one of those films, I don't know if it still holds up, but I did watch it a lot of times. Okay. Oh gosh, this is our uh, uh, movie sequence intro. <laughs> Trivia murder party. Oh, it said error for you, Z King. I'm so sorry. I put it in your chat first, just to give you a little edge. All right. Welcome, fun lovers. Hope you're ready for spooky time, because I'm going to use my ASMR voice to read these. Because y'all going to die. Where is your uvula? Is it in your mouth? Oh, gosh. This is the uh, tutorial. I'm going to skip it. We know how trivia works, don't we? Except this one's more about murder. So the premise is a serial killer has us in his basement. We have to um, try and get out alive. Why does cats in the cradle always get to me? Because my dad and I aren't close. Because my wife's left me. It reminds me of a dead dog. It reminds me of Buddy Holly's death. Okay. Oh, uh... Cats in the Cradle, sung by the guy who did the whole soundtrack of Harold and Maude, uh, and he changed his name to, like, something crazy. Did I get it? No! Ah, I picked the wife one. Ah, help me out with this lyric. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about a silver spoon. That's all I got. All right, it's between me and Aquaholic. One of us is going to turn into a ghost uh, if we don't get this right. This is called fingers. Choose one of your fingers to cut off. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, so now, uh, Aquaholic, you will not be able to choose A because you cut off um, your first finger. I think I'm going to choose A as well. I think statistically, I don't know if this is true, but usually the first answer is not the correct one. I don't know if that's true. They probably randomized it. Oh gosh, a thousand dollars to everybody else except me an alcoholic. No one dies in fingers, that's right. We just lose an option. But if we become a ghost, which I probably will, we will get it back. Eribos, hello, hello, and thank you for resubbing to the Geek and Sundry Twitch channel. Okay, question two. I wish we had sound because the, the voiceover actor on this is excellent. Okay, ready? What is the sum of the interior angles of a square? One hundred and eighty degrees, two hundred and forty degrees, three hundred and sixty degrees, or five hundred and forty degrees. Of course, a square is made up of a different amount of angles that each have a number value. Yeah, I'm just talking now. Always guess C, says grading. <laughs> I'm hiding the audience? No, I would never do that. Did I check the wrong box? It says 111 in audience. Oh, yes, I am hiding the audience with my physical body. Uh-oh, at all go. There we go, now you can see. Oh, you know what? I want to make sure that E doesn't look like an F. I'm just going to move it slightly. Oh, 
Oh my. <gasps> You're a ghost, but don't worry. You can still play as a ghost. Okay. 360, that's right. Uh, each, uh, a right angle is 90 degrees. So times two is 180 times four is 360. The loser wheel isn't random. There are six animations and only one ends on life. Huh. Following his, following his death in 1922, Frankenstein author Mary Shelley carried around her dead husband's head, hand, heart, or left eye. Lisa Left Eye Lopez, R.I.P. Okay, uh, I can't pick head, so I'm not worried about that one because I cut off my finger. Okay, either. Gosh, I, I feel like a heart would be so squishy difficult to manage but it is romantic and she was probably pretty crazy <laughs> okay uh, tough choice I didn't even pick oh no <gasps> uh, Becca look at the timer <laughs> heartbreaking Okay. Yeah, five to 10 second delay. That's actually not bad. I'm used to like a 30 second delay. Okay, make a long word. Oh gosh. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is not a word. <laughs> All right, my word is hebled. It's not a real word. You can't, uh, you can't delete. Oh, and, oh gosh. I realized I could delete by clicking. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. All right. Uh, oh, guys, I'm just excited to talk to you in chat, and it's, um, you know, maybe maybe hurting my gameplay, but guess what? Doesn't matter, that's not why we're here. Is that a dangling participle I see? <laughs> oh gosh, Gerald Grant is singing uh, some wallflower songs over here in Nerdist Chat. Which of these is not a real acid? HCl, HD, HF, or HI? Okay, so hydro... Fluoride, hydra, what's a D, uh, hydra, okay, uh, I'm feeling confident that, oh, now that I'm dead, I have option A open, ooh, HD is something that movie formats come in, I don't know, don't trust my opinion, okay, <laughs> Mad Quest, thank you so much for voting to be isolated with me, if you, if you could, it's a pleasure to have you here, HI is Hawaii, <gasps> Hey, I randomly picked right. All right. I'm taking chemistry. This is my nightmare, says Luna the Great. Well, you are being murdered for not having the right answer in chemistry. Uh, I really liked chemistry in high school, and then when I took it in college, it was so hard, but definitely did all of my group's work for them in high school. How many spikes does the Statue of Liberty have on her crown? Ooh. Okay. I think that it's an odd number because there's one in the middle. Hmm. 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 The sand of time is ending. Ho ho ho. Oh, I'm gonna do an even spookier voice from now on. Uh, you read acid? Wait, yeah, HCl is hydrochloric acid. High definition, that's right. Drawn and quartered between random guy and aquaholic. Okay. Drawn dingleberries. Uh-oh, I think we're gonna have to vote, audience. Eight like a compass rose. Ha! Huh. Nine, cause nine naz Nazgul ring wraiths? I said seven, artist, cr artist Chris. Artistic Chris, I just got your username. It's very clever, okay.
Oh, greetings from the Netherlands from Lars. Hello, Lars. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Uh, which dingleberry is the worst? <laughs> so, so hard to say. But um, my dog definitely uh, gets these caught in his fur. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Too real. Too real. <laughs> All right, Philly is getting so lucky. Philly, you made it in, hooray! All right. Adelico doesn't seem to be playing much. Yeah, maybe not. But they got it last, this time. Oh, I see what you mean by the sands of death time. There it is. Ooh, Aquaholic. Oh, so sorry, your, your pile of dingleberries. Oh, it has a little smiley face in there. I like it. Oh, Oshi, no. <laughs> yeah, my dog Oshi is just about the cutest little boy you've ever seen. How come no sound from the game? Ah, I was having sound trouble, but also, who needs it? You got me reading in a spooky voice. You ready? What doctor figures out a way to reanimate the dead in H.P. Lovecraft's reanimator? Dr. North, Dr. South, Dr. West, or Dr. East? I have no idea. I'm going to guess. Best Coast. <laughs> Kanye West, MD. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. You voted for the best. Seven continents and seven seas, Miss Katana Rich. Thank you for that answer. That is a great reason why the Statue of Liberty has seven spikes in her crown. Ah, and Fulano de Tal also had the answer in the Nerdist chat. The spikes symbolize the seven seas. There it is. What sport features a coxswain? Wrestling, synchronized swimming, rowing, or curling? Definitely don't know, but I gotta guess. Dr. West, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Who. Oh my gosh, I guess everybody guessed that one right. Or knew the answer. A lot of Lovecraft fans there. Easy, please, says Critter Nation. I don't know if it's easy. Uh, I picked rowing. And the answer... Hey, got it. Lots of cocks and rowing. Nightcat, that was also my rationale. <laughs> Sounds nautical. <laughs> Good rationale, Glory. Okay, this game is called Greed for the four people that did not get it. Random Guy, Doggo Spy, Deru, and Kai. That all rhymed. Oh my gosh, I love it. Take the most of the least and you will be sorry. Okay, take an average amount of money, everybody. Coxswain, I thought this was a family-oriented show. Okay, audience is voting. Who do you think is going to die? Could you notice me, says Phil George. Well, I certainly can, and I do, and hello. We also got Vibin' with Voorhees. Oh my gosh, what a great username. Lisa Voorhees, as in uh, best character in uh, Saved by the Bell. Daru, hi! Ah. Phil, are you Daru? You are winning. Well done. Question eight. <gasps> How does Funyuns describe itself on its package? Onion ring stacks, onion ring puffs, puffed onion rings, or onion flavored rings? I don't know, but that made me hungry. I know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, Nizifab has an opinion. Funyuns are weird and gross. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. That makes a lot more sense. Vibin' with Voorhees as in, yep, the horror villain. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Friday the 13th. Okay, I get you. Yep, mm-hmm. Look, my mind went to say by the bell. <laughs> Lark Voorhees, that's right. Okay, in baseball, what position does the number three represent? This many.
Is it the easy answer? I don't know. We will see. Uh, yeah, I picked onion flavored rings because there's definitely no real onion in there except for maybe like some onion powder. Do not take the money, says Larry. Made me hungry for chicken nuggets? Okay, sure. I don't watch the sports ball. What? Three represents first base since when? Ugh. All right, obviously we know who's never watched any sports. Okay, this game is called Memory. Uh-oh, only everyone but Kai. <gasps> okay. Memorize the red. Let me play, let me play. I'm gonna get it perfect. Okay, here we go. I think I got it perfect. That was very satisfying. I love randomly pick picking bloody squares. Okay, pitcher one, catcher two, first base three. Interesting. Ah, people played baseball as a kid. Oh, but Botany Archie did and had no idea about that one. <gasps> I got it 100% and so did Kai. Well done, Kai. Yeah, we got, you know, squares in the corners and M. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Everybody got 100%. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I am a kid, says Z King. <laughs> 88. Yeah, I'm a kid too. 89. Bexatron is my bet. Would oh, you bet on me to die, Phil? <laughs> okay, loser wheel. Kai and Daru. <gasps> Vibin' with Vor, he started playing Magic Arena last week. Oh my gosh, already has all the Godzilla cards. That's amazing. Enjoy your kaiju goodness. I don't know what's on third. Yeah, no, who's on third? That's why. And what's on second? That's Craig. Missy Fan knows. <laughs> love it, love it. Abbott on, Abbott on Costello, baby. Okay. Hello, Nexus Shade. How you doing? We should not be paused. Who be pausing bold? Bold big flank. Okay. Oh, it did get stuck there for a minute. I see. It was loading. Good memorization. Thanks, Doug. Okay. Sharks. Card. Whale. Huh? I don't understand the question. Are you guys getting an opportunity to vote right now? Card sharks or whale sharks? I don't have anything on my screen. Uh, I'm reading three different chats, so don't worry, my PL. You are in the right place. We are on the Geek and Sundry YouTube channel, the Nerdist YouTube channel, and the Geek and Sundry Twitch channel, so we're all partying. Hey, yeah. <laughs> They're all good places to be. Only the living get that question. Okay, that feels right. Deru. Very impressive showing here. Trivia is your strength. Is that you, Phil George? Yeah, yeah. Tap any items below that fit this category for pasta. Uh-oh, making me hungry. Don't make me think about Italian food. I love it too much. Only ghosts get to answer uh, the th third option. So what it is, you might choose all of these, you might choose none of these, you just check the box. And uh, the ghosts actually get an opportunity to get ahead of the living by having a third option available. But it doesn't count against people that don't get that option. All right, none of those of course were pastas. If we could just do only, okay, flightless birds. Okay, which of these three are flightless? Only the, we have Dodo, Swan, and Whooping Crane. Aw, Phil, you're so sweet. 
Okay. Good things I ate before this. Paws versus pawns. Hello, hello. My favorite things. Games and dogs. Okay. And cats. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yeah, we all got it. Most of us got it. All right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Founding UN members. Poland, Iran, Nepal. I think I know. Mm, one is bread and one is bacon. That is correct. Focaccia is definitely bread. Typically with rosemary. Mm, fresh out of the oven. Like a pizza with nothing on it but olive oil and rosemary. Maybe a little garlic. Dodo was flightless, hence being extinct. Uh, of course, I know this because in Animal Crossing, the airline is run by dodo birds. <laughs> hence the irony. Come on, ghost. <laughs> Board games and cats. All right, all right. Legumes, what are they? Ooh, I don't know if any of them. La la la. A dodo can't fly if it's dead. It's good logic, Zeke King. Dodos are, in fact, extinct. Phil, you are dead. Everybody's dead except for Daru. All I ate in Italy was focaccia. I know. I could just live on it. How did you get it wrong? Patrick, what'd you get wrong? Why? Why? Oh, the bird one. Give peas a chance. Oh, Daru has died and random guy has come back to life. That means random guy only gets two options. Tap any items that fit this category in vertebrates. This is hard. I think I know the answer. And since there's a delay, I'm pretty sure manatees have a spine but scorpions and tarantulas don't because scorpions probably have an exoskeleton and I don't know what tarantulas have. Did you just call a werewolf dead? Excuse me, Becca. I'm so sorry. Billy, I know. It feels like you get one wrong and you just, you lost that. Ben and Jerry's flavors. Coffee, coffee, buzz, 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 fish food, blonde ambition, blondie ambition. They're probably all, but I I only picked two of them. Let's see. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. I'm still in it. I'm tied for second place, but there are three of us. Scorpions and tarantulas are both arachnids. Thank you, Mavis the Rainbow. Do you remember Mavis Bacon teaches typing? Oh, I got this weird reflection on my head. There we go. Tarantulas also have an exoskeleton. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, tap the items. New York City neighborhoods. Shoot, this is so hard. I know for one for sure. I've actually seen a whooping crane. Izanami. What was it like? Phil, don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's going to be okay. Oh my gosh, are you doggo spy, Phil? Because it's getting close. Oh, I missed one. Ah, I almost got it right. Blondie fish, that's right. We got the, we got the Delmar Loop is St. Louis. Oh no, I just call it the loop. I, from Missouri, so I should have known that. Animals on the endangered species list in 2016. Snow leopard, leatherback turtle, and chimpanzee. I feel like even if it's in captivity, that probably takes it off the endangered species list. Chaotic Looney says whooping cranes are common out here. Well, where is here? You must remind me. Uh, <gasps> I came back to life. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? It's rigged. It's all rigged. Okay, salads that contain hard boiled eggs. <sighs> gosh, of course I know one, but I don't know. Sounds delicious. Okay. Seeing the ghost choice is helpful. 
sadness question. <laughs> Oh, yeah, snow leopards for sure. I didn't check chimpanzees for the last one because I feel like there's a lot in captivity. <gasps> Did I win? Oh, y'all, I am so sorry, but I have, uh, I believe uh, I have crushed it. I believe that's what happened here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Amazing. Whole audience of 150 dies. Only scored $14,000. No one cares. All right, friends. Don't go anywhere because I would like to reboot this franchise. But I must take a quick bio break. So please, please enjoy this credit sequence and go nowhere. Or else I will come for you and don't forget. I live. So, like, I am scarred and I'm ready to come for you. Okay. I told you I'd be quick. Oh gosh, I don't even know why I've been wearing headphones this entire time because we know that audio. Okay, well there you go. Ah, Wolfie Chan, I'm so sorry I murdered you, but good game, good game, Larry, good game, Voorhees. Oh man, yeah. The chair gets mad respect. This chair was a gift several years ago from um, a Twitch chat. So, Becca's Rekka's all went in on this chair as a birthday gift. That was very very kind. I wash my hands for 20 seconds. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. So just gonna quickly see what we can do about our audio situation. Real, real quick. All right. We've got our microphone and we've got. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. Interesting. Well, pardon my audio, if you will. Here we go. Check our audio connection, it's embedded. All it is. All right. Bizarre. Okay. Well, who knows? Faster than the flash. That's when they call me. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Birthday song or ABC. Uh, I like to sing Scatman. All right. Let's reboot this franchise, shall we? <laughs> oh, gosh. Everybody, uh, I'm going to ask the same question that I asked earlier. I want to know... Because someone asked me this yesterday. What is something that you have done recently for the very first time? Oh, and also I need to know uh, the vote if you all would like to continue playing uh, another round of murder trivia party. Trivia murder party. Or if we should go back to one of the other games that we've been playing. Up to y'all. 
Not my choice. It's your choice. The choice is all yours. Okay. And let's just adjust our video here just a little bit. Quiplash! Back to Quiplash. We got a vote from Gerald Grant. Uh, Voorhees likes Murder Party. <laughs> Gerald Grant says, please. Ooh, Tom wants Quiplash. New game, new game. TKO. I'm blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. That's a good washing your hands song. Uh, more Murder says Glory Haster. Oh, Geeks or Not. Hello. Oh, gosh. How we do it had their first baby. Congratulations. That is so amazing. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful uh, way to get to spend this special time. Uh, Learn to cook German apple pancakes from Mavis the Rainbow. I love that. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm going to need some snack time later. Uh, started doing online classes from Z King. Yeah, you mentioned you're a student, right? That's very cool. Uh, Oh, made your first ever ever demo reel from Killjoy Kitty. Very cool. Yeah, making a demo reel is hard. Not only uh, getting your material together and editing it, but just having to watch yourself is, I find, particularly challenging. Oh, let's steal away with that light. Okay. Started a D&D &D campaign for your family and friends. Amazing. Oh, wow. Japanese lessons from Adelgo. Very cool. Turs Baked. I guess just in general, just baking for the first time. I love that. Uh, Dave Walker made okonomiyaki. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds Japanese. Therefore, it sounds delicious. I'm on board. Never eaten better than when I visited Japan. Alex Zaffy, longtime viewer of Game the Game. Hello, hello. So good to have you here. Okay. Yeah, 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 Misty fan. I'm reading all the chats. Don't you worry. Sleeping was the first thing. Yeah, first time. Python coding. Vibin' with Voorhees. Pulled your first engine by yourself. A 1946 Jeep. I don't even know what it means to pull an engine, but it sounds very impressive. A lot of votes for Murder Party over here. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're in three places at once. Oh, a Japanese pancake pizza thing. <gasps> yes, please. Oh, my gosh. What is Game the Game? Addle Ago. It is uh, a show that is uh, me and friends playing different tabletop board games. Um, it is on the Geek and Sundry YouTube channel. I recommend it because I'm in it. So there you go. It's my show. I have a lot of fun doing it. So I, I hope people also have fun watching it. Uh, and it's, it's very well edited as well. We have a lot of people that work very hard on that show. All right. I know my mouth is watering too. Okay, let's play a new game. Um, Y'all, I feel bad that I won. It's not, that's not what this is for. You need to share the wealth. How about we do another round of, I wanna play TKO, the t-shirt battle game. We had some votes for that, right? And if you haven't played, well, you gotta learn. You gotta learn what it's all about. Faking it, we can only play IRL, it turns out. But this way we'll have given them all a chance, eh? Oh, for easy you like game the game too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <gasps> Greg has been learning Scots Gaelic. That is an impressive skill. Very, very cool. All right, let's check out our settings. Send it timers, audience suggestions. I don't know what quick training is. Oh, probably a tutorial. Room code hiding. Yeah, that will do. Ooh. I'm going to do quick training because it says it is good for streamed games. And I trust that they know what they're talking about. Okay. TKO, t-shirt knockout. Let's do it. All right. Uh, everybody pull up jackbox.tv. Let me get mine out. And okay. Room code coming up. And then I will type it in chats real fast. 
in a completely different order. Let me do it in a different order than I have done before. Okay. Aw, oh, Peyton Simoness, you may play games with me right now if you are able to go to jackbox.tv and be the first in here. Let's see, the code is IBOF. Sounds like a phrase, okay. I both. I both. And one more time. Bold Big Flank led the recent colors update for this one. Amazing. You do good work. Ratva just joined and is asking, what is this game? How do you play? Uh, so let's see. We're going to need audience members that will help vote. Uh, basically, each of these eight players listed here that were the first to jump in is going to get to design a t-shirt, and then we're going to need everybody to vote. Uh, and it's just sort of self-explanatory. I haven't played this one in a while, so I'm going to be relearning as we go. So let's do it. All right, just want to make sure we can see everything. Okay. Ooh, my avatar. I like the snake. Fight. Okay. Ah, oh, it's got awesome theme music. I'm so sorry. Yeah, audio issues. Okay. T K O. You know both, Becca. <laughs> I both. <laughs> I put some shirts from this game on my Animal Crossing character. Oh, that is awesome, Bold Big Flank. Yeah, you can do anything in Animal Crossing. You dream it, you can do it. Okay, Blorp is a pretty great name. I love that your character's on fire. Okay, I do not... Ah, <laughs> I love this. Mine says, I do not have arms, but my love of t-shirts is strong. I will win the tournament. But it's more like this voice for a snake. Phil is playing PS4. What game are you playing? Oh my gosh. Gerald Grant, what did you put in your air fryer? Ooh, okay. Draw. The Eiffel Tower, apples, a wolf. Okay. Something funny. Oh gosh, this is hard. Y'all gonna love my drawing, let me tell you. All right, so we're each drawing a super cool t-shirt right now. Uh, <laughs> guess what? You might just get everything you asked for. Oh shoot. Okay, give me more suggestions. The entire cast of Scrubs, a minion spewing blood and pain, samurai pirate goblin. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot of things. Explosions in space. Okay, guys, this is the best artwork you're ever going to see in your life. Oh, my God. I can't wait to show you. Wow, I'm so proud of my work. Can't even tell you. A dead parrot. Meeples. Ooh, meeples. Okay. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Draw your audience. Uh-oh, Larry. I didn't draw anything evil. I don't know. I, ju I just tried to uh, take as many suggestions as possible. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's still letting me do stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. She an artist, y'all. She an artist. Oh. 
All right, we've created perfection. It's not at all clever. I'm excited to see what you guys draw. <laughs> Homemade sweet potato fries were baller. Grant, uh, Gerald Grant made them in their fry cooker. That sounds amazing. All right. Hey. Oh, Finn in England, RB Moss X1. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank you so much for watching Game to Game episodes on your telly. Cheers. Let me just keep doing my bad English accent for you. Wolfie Chan, of course, suggests drawing a wolf. Oh, man. Draw on your device two out of two? Are we supposed to draw a whole new thing? Oh, my gosh. Mm, mine's not good. Oh. Oh, geeks or not, I want to eat the puff pastry, please. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, Bold Big Flank designed a memory and matching game for the audience to play during this time, but it didn't make it into the game. That's so interesting. Hey, maybe for number uh, the next the next one, right? Right? I mean, TKO is such a popular one. I see people wearing t-shirts that you could tell were made in this all the time. Super Plop is looking for the Discord. I don't know if there is a Geek and Sundry Discord, but I'll share mine with you. Let's see. Let me find my Discord code. Uh, invite people. There. There's my personal one. Suggest a phrase or slogan. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, write something funny, clever, or anything at all. <sighs> Gosh, really put on the spot to be clever. Nope, not at all clever. Hey, guess what? I decided to just feel no pressure from that. <laughs> all right, all right. We making choices, we doing things. <laughs> What's up, Julian? All right. Choose a drawing, oh my gosh, okay. That's beautiful. Oh gosh. Okay, I hope you in the audience can see this as well. Uh, okay, great. I saw an explosion on a mountain and I gave it a caption. Ooh, discord.gg slash Nerdist. We're seeing uh, GNS Discord is sub only. Nerdist is open to join is what Greg is mentioning in the Nerdist YouTube chat. Yay! Oops, uh, I, I gave away. Here, let me go. Here's the Discord link that I was given. And yeah, there's a Discord for Nerdist. Aw, Phil, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Oh gosh, make a shirt on your device. Oh, I don't have the option. Okay, somebody does. All that muff, perhaps. Hmm, what a name. <laughs> oh, wish we could see the drawings. Yeah, maybe we'll just do this one once. I guess it's, it's pretty tough for audience to get a chance to vote in here. Sorry, Bull Big Flank, wish we had your audience interaction element. Chapter two, Shirts of Fury. 
Yay! All right, that's terrifying. I hate shirts. Versus, watch out! Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I know my favorite, and <laughs> I know which one I made. <laughs> and then, uh, the same. You can buy shirts you make off this game. Yes, you can, Larry Sane. Does it take so long? Well, you know, but the, the longer you have to wait for a package to arrive, the more you forget that it's coming, and you're more surprised and delighted when it does come. That's my opinion on it. How to vote Eliza Marion, please go to jackbox.tv and then you'll be able to join the audience by typing in the code IBOF and then you can vote. <laughs> oh, I hate shirts. Yeah, I put together that other one. I shouldn't have said I saw a mountain. Mobby. You know what? Let me just type a little link here. You can do it on your phone while you're watching on a different device or vice versa. But don't leave me. 50 points to Becca for that package surprise statement. Thank you, Chaotic Lenny. Pick your favorite. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Somebody put a lot of work into this smiley face drawing. <laughs> Aw. Sorry about the lag, friends. For some reason, the longer you're up, the, the more that happens. Don't know what the deal is. Don't know how to refresh that without going down. Come back up. Okay. What is our favorite here? Watch out. Her mom says I'm special. Oh, God. Terrifying. Little jigglypuff with a shiny knife. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyone else? Oh, the code's not working for you. Maybe, um, hmm, it's the letter O, not a zero, if that helps. <laughs> yeah, smiley eyes with the smiley mouth. It's true, Nightcat. Is it Kirby? You're right. I don't know my stuff. Kirby with the knife is pretty clutch, says Jail Grant. Ah, oh, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed, everybody. It's Kirby. I know. I got called out in all three chat rooms. <laughs> Big fan of the murder, Kirby, I hear. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Let the drawing fit the logo, you know? <laughs> uh, is that a dolphin trainer explosion meeple apple? I don't know who would. I don't. Only the artist can tell. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Why is a snake that I'm playing wearing a T-shirt? I guess is the question. All right, mom says I'm special. Is the winner Rafa? Well done. Also, your avatar has a super sweet outfit. Cheshire Taurus, glad you figured it out. Glad you can vote now. Sometimes things explode. What you, do you want me to do about it? Or mom says I'm special. What's it gonna be? Which of these would you be more likely to wear in public, I guess? Mm, I think the, the trouble was that uh, someone was, not, was typing in a zero instead of an O. Or maybe a D. It could be many things, but it was no. All right. Thanks for the help grading. Appreciate you. Ah, yes. And you might not be able to vote until the next set of shirts. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Radva is the winner. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. We have a real artist in the house with this flex and dog. You know what I do when I have a drink at 5 o'clock? I like to flex with it. That's right. So fun. Hmm. I know what my problem is. Nope, don't know. Mm, four 
win streak for Ratva. Nice. Audience just loves Kirby. Okay, okay. We get it. Draw Kirby and you win. <gasps> what? Sorry, wrong number. This is beautiful. Okay. Look at those melty eyes. Oh, such watery sadness. <laughs> All right. You know what I could do? And I'm going to do. I can get a little audio going this way. Shoot. I see. Okay, I think I know my problem. Uh, Futson with a little audio situation. And I think I got it. Oh, Radfa, you just can't lose. Gauntlet winner, though. Sorry, wrong number. Nice. Okay. Chapter three, back to the dojo. <laughs> Anybody who cry that much for calling the wrong number, they deserve to win something because they've got a lot going on. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. I got to draw better this time. Um, suggestions, please. Okay, sorry, I'm so focused. We gotta draw these pictures real good. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna draw what I feel. I can't tell you what it is until I'm done. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's gonna be better than last time, though. <laughs> okay, I'm drawing something so ridiculous. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, oh, wow. Some people were all curvy till they saw uh those crying eyes let's see all right no spice girls draw the spice girls that's a good one i like that no S snack draw snack mmm i love delicious snacks okay oh shoot i changed my background color at the last minute it doesn't look good okay out of time out of time i drew something i hope you like it okay something funny or clever or anything at all i think i'll write what would i want to see on a t-shirt Oh, something you would expect Harry Potter to say. <laughs> oh, that's a great suggestion. Oh, I think I hit suggestion instead of submit. Okay, so now I need a new one. <gasps> 15 seconds, okay. Oh God, I just typed something so quickly because I realized I had three seconds and nothing in the box. Whoo, sorry wrong number is probably the best thing you could come up with in that situation. I'm so impressed with the things you guys come up with. Oh, all right. Last time for this game and then we'll uh, maybe do Quiplash again. Love Quiplash and I think it's the best for uh, everybody getting, um, 
getting a chance to have their vote count. Plus it moves a little quicker. Wing and Wolf. Uh, in the context of Harry Potter. Uh, if I can't repeat it, I don't know if it's family friendly, Patrick. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Can't tell you what he said. All right. Draw a donut eating a taco. Bold big flank. I love that suggestion, and I wish I'd seen it before. Oh, okay. I got to choose the combination of drawing and comment. <laughs> All right, I picked a random combination. Serious big dog tea vibes. <laughs> big dog teas. Oh man, uh, I was on this comedy sketch team and one time one of the uh, cast members wrote a sketch about the boardroom at Big Dog Tees and like, alright, obviously we got the best brand of all time, uh, what are ways in which we could improve and like, I don't remember what the bit was, I just remember like, I'm trying to think of like the rationale for Big Dog Tees, it's real good. Honks angrily. I dropped the baby. <laughs> or a bunch of birds and bees, something clever. <sighs> I really like the art on both of these. People are stepping it up. All right, whatever you vote on is going to stay in in this gauntlet and go up against a new t shirt. Wolf eating taco. Mmm. Taco eating wolf? Yeah, the most ninja of toads. <laughs> I love your username. I mean, this is a pretty awesome game. But yeah, Quiplash may be a little more uh, quicker pace. Ah, it's up to 10 players. That's true, we do have more players. <laughs> All right, Muff, you got it this round. Ooh, nice glass of lemonade. 60% of the time, it works every time. Hey. Quoting Anchorman works 100% of the time. Let me guess, it said type something clever. How did you know, Osborne? <laughs> Hi, Harb Chan. Welcome, welcome, welcome over in the Geek and Center YouTube chat. Hey, hey. You can't run with the big dog, stay on the porch. That's a good phrase for a t-shirt, Gerald. All right. Oh, that's right. Radpa! Congratulations. Is that a glass of urine? It's up to you to decide, Adelgo. Help, my freak froze to my legs. This is a very scary picture. I totally want the 60% t-shirt. Oh my gosh. Patrick Lake, I'm sure you'll be able to purchase it at the end of the game. We'll leave up that code for a minute. Ah, I think we may have figured out our sound issue, which may be that it doesn't, Jackbox doesn't let its music be streamed, perhaps? Not sure. Ratva says it's whatever you want it to be. I, I want it to be eliminated personally. Maybe with like a little splash of tequila. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, this is so hard now. This is where it gets tough. Um, dolphin hugging a person in a bikini. It's really cute. <laughs> Wait, is this game joinable? It sure is. You can vote right now if you go to jackbox.tv uh, and type in IBOF. And I'm saying that, and I assume it is, but you may have to wait until the next round of voting. And in that case, we'll be jumping on over to Quiplatch one more time before... Oh, gosh, we've only got 20 minutes left to party, y'all. But I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for hanging out on Save Point on Nerdist and Geek and & Sundry. Ah, you're right, Nightcat. It is indeed designed for streaming. Well, hmm. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> it may be something that I did. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. I have trousers in my trousers. That's fun. That's a fun caption. There's um, one eye headed alien in a diaper. No, just tidy whities Tidy whities You can see the Hanes <laughs> elastic strap there. The shirts are getting deep now. Yeah, absolutely. Patrick, the beauty of this game is that you can buy it directly from Jackbox. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. I'm just so excited that your t-shirt is going to come to life. Uh, fire fart. Oops. <laughs> all right, all right. Man, it's hard to beat Rapta's drawings or uh, t-shirt combinations. Ratva. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Ruben. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Save Point on Geek and Sundry and Nerdist, and we're just playing some Jackbox here. Voting on some t shirts like you do. Happy Thursday, everybody. Glad you're here. Ah, I know after this, everybody's been talking about food so much. Can't wait for some snacky snacks. Is everybody doing a lot of cooking these days? I assume so, right? Or are we just living off of protein bars? Shoot. Everybody, I didn't click on my computer for a while, so... Hold up. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's all good. <sighs> Fell asleep. We did play a round of murder trivia party, and I can't remember who won. Uh, uh, <laughs> No, good game, y'all. Uh, what board game are you going to play? Well, actually, I was thinking about later tonight playing Betrayal Legacy now that we've talked about it in chat today. Um, oh, gosh. Vibin' with Voorhees has mentioned that Jackbox Party Pack 3 is on Xbox Game Pass right now. So that's pretty sweet. It's a great game. Lots of fun. Good for uh, not only streaming, but for playing with your friends and family from a distance. All right, incredible, Rafa. Gauntlet streak and winner streak. No. I, words. You read. <laughs> oh, gosh, we're all shirt behind. Sprinkles is living off oatmeal. Yeah, I definitely bought oatmeal in bulk at Costco, gotta say. <laughs> Shipboard games, yay! Oh, I thought you were saying, like, relationship ship you actually like you ship the board games got it alexandra I'm, i appreciate you and i'm glad you do that yeah ratva well done way to go oh pick your favorite okay okay so i think this is overall i wonder if all of them will be for sale or just some of them and i think that bold big flank can let us know Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I want I want to give these artists credit. Who drew these eyeballs? They're so pretty. Yay! All right, sorry, wrong number is the winner. I guess we're going round one and round two together. Oh gosh, this is hard. I think it's the same artist based on the the way they filled things in. Their line strokes, as it were. Oh, gosh. The two newest expansions of Villainous are out, and Ruben Harvey wants to know if I'll pl ever play them. Um, I've played Rotten to the Core, and it's excellent. What's beautiful about the, the Disney tabletop game Villainous is that um, that's actually a really good one to play remotely. It, it's each, each player's uh, self-encapsulated villain character. Uh, means you can just keep adding on to it and they're all interchangeable together. Patrick, what's wrong? All right, am I an elephant? What does this mean? Ah, hee ho! Did the art! Way to go, hee ho! Yay! And of course, great slogan. Oh, sorry, I missed the name there. All right, sorry, wrong number has won the entire championship and blorp slogans used on six shirts best writer okay well done he ho best artist nice and of course nizifnab 
achieve the lifelong dream of winning the tournament. This was great. Now they need a new dream. Maybe the world's tallest gardener? Forming a sled dog team compromised solely of wiener dogs? These are great suggestions for a whole life change, y'all. Oh, how we do it. Finish their drawing fastest. Oh, all that muff. I'm so sorry. You were the most ignored. Heho, how did you even draw that many things? All right. Oh, gosh. Okay, so everybody on their phone can click here to share or buy these t-shirts. I'm going to do it and then share it onto my Twitter so that uh, everybody can find it. Let's see. Or uh, maybe just tell me the ones you have to have, and those are the ones I'll share because I can only share individually. So, uh, of course, 60% of the time it works every time. Oh, no, that's allowing me to buy it. All right, let's share this to Twitter. Oh, shoot. All I can do is share the GIF, everybody. Hmm, let's see. Let's see if anybody else can follow this link. All right, I think uh, I think help me out here. Uh, post a link to the gallery. Big, uh, bold, big flank. Do tell, do tell. How do we do this? All right, because uh, some people were very serious about buying these T-shirts. Just want to see how to do it. All right, I'm gonna text it to myself. Hold tight, hold tight. Here we go, here we go. Gonna get that t-shirt link. All right, all right. Aw, we should all play Minecraft together and make a survival of creative worlds. Uh, I might have some news about that, so let's, let's, uh, I'll be posting. Um, I've never actually played Minecraft, but I might be for the first time very soon. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So here is the link. All right. Everybody got it about the same time. But if you wanted any of these t shirts or you want to check it out and look at the gallery, you totally can. <laughs> Let me uh, show you all what I'm looking at. We'll look at this gallery together. We've got a window capture. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, it's on top of my face. Sorry about that. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Window capture here. Let's go ahead and fit it to our screen. Yay. Sorry, wrong number. Mom says I'm special. 60% of the time it works. Every time. We're the best, of course. <laughs> Not feeling too confident about any of mine. Oh man, I love the art of this. I have trousers in my trousers. And why am I sad? It's pretty awesome. Great work, everybody. Proud of all of you. Your mothers will be proud. We all so proud. <laughs> all right, so we've only got 10 minutes left, but let's do a quick blash, everybody. And we'll get to it fast. We gotta go, we gotta go. Holy snap. Jackbox.tv, y'all. Okay. Quiplash. Hope y'all ready. Uh, room code is... Question marks. D-T-R-X. Down to give prescriptions. All right, everybody's in. And jump in the audience if you'd like to at jackbox.tv, DTRX. I know I did that very quickly. I want to make sure we get this last s couple rounds of quiplash in. <gasps> Yay! All 
I know. Sorry, Mavis Rainbow. Just want to make sure we get to play. Okay, round one. Use my, my good brain. Funny brain. Go. Answers. Aw, Phil just offered to teach me some Minecraft. That's very sweet. I, I am interested in doing that. All right. You know you're staying at a dirty... Ooh. Don't read out loud, Becca, every time I do this. Okay, I don't learn. Okay. Dank waffle, floppy doo. This is a word that shouldn't be in the dictionary and isn't. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. A fruchin friend, a hangus horngus. Xol. Yappy. Feeling happy today. Ah, oh, Becca-tastic, Madquest-tastic. Hi, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here on YouTube, hanging out. This is a seriously awesome game, Rylan. I play a lot of it. <laughs> Don't we all play a lot of these games that we can play remotely now? Oh, goodbye, Bold Big Flank. Thank you so much for hanging out, and congratulations on working on these games. They're so awesome. Okay, weird advice from your grandfather. Don't take any wooden condoms. Don't take any wooden willy. I like that these both went uh, to the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> you know what? When in doubt, I vote for alliteration. Osborne, what you been watching? Tell me more. All right. Mm. TikTok. A pocket is a very small pocket. Oh, that's amazing. I've got a pocket that was sewn on by my friend who made the shirt. You know you're staying in a dirty hotel when they offer a free continental bleach wipe or hazmat suit. It's tough. It's tough. Hmm, my favorite game played on Game the Game. I really enjoy Moonrakers um, and Lander. I guess I like stuff where you're building things in space. Uh, <laughs> Jonas said the word yappy. It's a good word. Um, gosh, what else do we play? Uh, I love things with a really good group. Um, I always love when um, um, when we've got James Hudson on the show. He always brings a lot of really fun games um, from Skybound. I really liked Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Wonderland 4. Everybody looks cool on a motorcycle except for Krangus McBasketball or other motorcycles. <laughs> I'm just making up the name of a character that we all have an image for immediately. Krangus McBasketball, naturally. The high school bully. He looks not that cool on a uh, motorcycle because his body is made of a giant basketball. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, someone else is playing as Cheshire. Is that really your last name, Rylan? Because uh, that's the name of a magical cat. It's a super sweet name. Stealth Frog is a good name, too. Cragness. Did I say it wrong? It's Cragness. All right. What could be cooler than a motorcycle riding another motorcycle? How does Adele come up with those great songs? She hung out with bad dudes, sad face, or scuba diving in the deep. <laughs> oh, both true, both true. All right. Is that a reference to Impractical Jokers, Gerald? Oh, I love it. Very cool. 
I don't watch that enough. July says, oh me, oh my. You rhyming with your name there. Hmm. Londell, hello. Seeing crit roll season one so many times. Oh, that's amazing. All right. An FAQ question on beats.com. What beats a beat? Or who dropped them sick beats? Oh, this is really hard. I don't know. I don't know. Got it. Krangus is from Impractical Jokers. I had a really hard time answering this one. I know you guys do as well. Hello, Hammer Demon. Uh, would I ever create a tabletop game of my own? I definitely have ideas. I'll go on these, you know, sprees where I just like start drawing things out and designing things and then I, I have not made one yet, but I would love to make a game someday. How old timey sailors passed the time on long voyages. Oh goodness, either with their hands or by singing in the rain. <laughs> one is very uh, practical. <laughs> Great answers all around. <laughs> all right. Ooh, we are all got our mind in the gutter. There you go. <laughs> Singing is very practical. Some say. Mad Quest. I believe it is. It keeps my mind from exploding. I like to make, so make up songs about uh, everyday tasks. Everybody poops too. The Scantoning or Electric Poopaloo. Oh man, these are so great. Guys, poop jokes, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh man, y'all, we're getting we're getting antsy and rassless, making all of our dirty jokes. Siggy, hello, Siggy. Siggy is the name of a magic player. And Cheshire, all right. Uh, chat loved Electric Poopaloo, so even though it was evenly tied between the players, Electric Poopaloo got it. If it wasn't for the gutter, my mind would be homeless, Mom, says Geekstronaut. <laughs> well said, well said. I like it. Breaking news. Scientists have just discovered nature's fiercest creature, the twinkle nub shark or the laser cyborg shark. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is the internet after all. You make an excellent point, Commander Benkai. It's true. Oh my gosh, Ruben. Okay, Ravensburger is making a Marvel villainous game coming out in August. I'll be keeping my eyeballs peeled for that. Hey, what's what's not to love when you got that... Uh, that's such an... I mean, I guess they're both Disney, so it makes a lot of sense. Okay, thanks for laughing, Nightcat, because uh, you like my stupid sense of humor. Twinkle Nub was mine. Bye, Wolfie Chan. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, I was close. Fourth place, that's not bad. I'll take it. Ooh, all point values are doubled. What? Oh, Mavis the Rainbow found game the game through Shadows in the Forest. That was actually a really fun game to play. That's a game that is played in the dark. Make up a word that means to make up a word. <laughs> okay, round two. Hmm. Okay. I have given you answers. Words that mean to make up words. VCC. 
Fluoradu, Wordly Dillion, Jabberin, in Wint. <laughs> I like in Wint. Aw, Phil. I'm glad you feel welcome here. You are indeed. All right. Beckard was so close to Beckard. Oh, Beckard. <laughs> I even read it wrong because it's so close. Um, what is Beckard? The name of a snobby hair salon for cats is either Permian Perms or Falutin Felines Furry Emporium. Permian Perms is really nice. Yep. Hmm. All right, um, another question. I want to know what is the nicest thing a friend or family member has done for you recently? I feel like it's that time where everybody's trying to look out for each other. And I know you all are looking out for me, and I appreciate it. Hmm. Osborne, I'm curious which game you are looking for right now that you're only finding on the Internet, uh, only in the U.S., Perm and Perms is the winner. I can't with that other stupid one. <laughs> yeah. Alexandra says my mom paid a good chunk of my credit card bill without me knowing. That's so sweet. Okay, the name of a horse you should never bet on: Sir Triped or Disappointment. <laughs> Both great. Sir Triped. Is that a three footed horse? One of my friends is doing a Pokemon tabletop online. I also bought a friend some graduation gifts. That's really sweet. Uh oh, okay. Um Disappointment crushed it. Uh all right. Um Wall of Blossoms, it's my pleasure to be streaming. This is the third time we've done Save Point with me. Um, a perplexing band would be Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, and Bag of Scott. <laughs> oh, very fun. I don't even want to vote on that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I catching the stream. Do you stream often? I do indeed stream often. We are streaming Save Point every Thursday. And uh, I'm also on Twitch at the Becca Scott. I guess I should probably put that in my little shout out name tag there. <laughs> uh, Chody Foster, thank you for censoring your name. Very uh, family, uh, uh, censorship cautious, the conscious of you. Appreciate that. A mystery that Nancy Drew couldn't solve. The case of the missing cookies. Because she ate them, that's why. Or invisible sock puppet. <laughs> Love it. <gasps> oh no, Thomas Healy was going to get married and had to cancel the wedding, I assume, because of quarantine. And your friend sent you a bunch of meaningful apology messages that show they were thinking of you, of both of you. That is so, so sweet. I have a bunch of friends, um, well, two high school friends that had to cancel their weddings and uh, a family friend that had to cancel their wedding. And it's just, it's like your most special day and you put all this money into it because it's representing tying your life to someone else's forever, hopefully. And ah, uh, uh, it's just so uh, upsetting. I'm so sorry, but it's really nice that you have friends that did that for you. Okay, a promise you shouldn't make to a sick child. You'll get reborn for shit. Or don't promise a child locker room fungus. This is so evil and cruel. Who wrote this, you monster? <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. <gasps> Seriously, you guys made my face hurt from laughing so much today. Oh, shoot. We are over our time, but we'll finish out this game, of course, um, as long as that's okay with my producer. Um, all right, uh, so that was what we call a super quiplash. Very well done. Okay, warning, never put blank into a crock pot. Cockadoodle a doodle doo or Play-Doh and explosives. <laughs> I love what people come up with for these. So good, especially when I had one of the submissions and then I'm just like, why did, how did, yeah, that's brilliant. 
Uh, Tyler, that was really sweet that you gave your friend your Disney Plus login because they had to cancel their birthday party. Uh, I don't know if anybody um, is watching uh, Kate Elliott or uh, Erica Vermina's um, Twitch channels, but for our friend Kiri, Kiri Callahan's birthday, uh, which was last Saturday, they did a surprise birthday party in Animal Crossing where they hid a bunch of items on someone's island for her to find. Uh, so that was that was a pretty cute one. If the Pied Piper really wanted to impress us, he'd get blank to follow him. <laughs> I love that I've just become the trump card in this game. <laughs> Lizard wizards is just fun to say. And boom goes the Play-Doh mite. What? That was mine. They need to make a full-length movie starring the animated Becca who appears as this at the start of Game Game. Oh my gosh, yeah. Our boy Caleb did that, um, oh gosh, what's the term for it? Not graphic design, but um, animation. Super sweet animated sequence. Yeah, I really love the beginning sequence of Game Game. It's one of my favorite things ever. I got to make suggestions. I was like, make me super cute with red hair. Make me fly. <laughs> That's what I sound like when I make suggestions. My friends are going full steam ahead for a Halloween wedding. Death warmed over. I am crossing all my fingers and toes. And hey, as long as I'm sure we can get together in small numbers by then. Okay, so the title of a TV drama about a farmer who becomes a cop. Brokeback Mountaineer or Old MacDonald has a case. Wee 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 wee. Wee 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 wee. That's that's pretty awesome. Oh, McDonald has a kiss. Uh, 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 uh. Stealth frog, I like it. <laughs> the Ziff Nab, I like yours too. All right. All right, Misty Van wants to know if anyone else has read Mercedes Lackey because something about Lizard Wizard rings true there. Look, all I do is re-listen to Dresden Files over and over. <laughs> do you code, bro? I don't code, bro. Yeah, Justin Mo, we would love to have you back to play more Jackbox in the future. This is round three. We're already over the time when the stream should end, but we're going to finish out round three here. And then uh, we'll see you guys next week. Or uh, come head on over to um, find me on the Twitter. I'm always posting what I'm doing on the internet, and mostly it involves sitting in this chair somewhere online. <laughs> ah. Oh, all of Blossoms, your friends are the sweetest. Hold on, let me complete this comic real quick. Houston, what's the issue? All right. Uh, Wall of Blossoms is a key worker. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for doing what you do. Uh, and their friends bought them Age of Empires 2 HD on Steam to show their support. That's very sweet that your friends are so appropriately nerdy. Aw. Uh, bye, Flexible Tangent. Take care. Uh, your wife has a dope chair then. I love this chair. I've had it for years. All right. Waiting on the final votes to be tallied, and then we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, so Jim Butcher wrote the Dresden Files. There's 16 books, and we've all been crossing our fingers for uh, more in the series, and he's releasing two this year. One is coming out very soon. Okay, um, so we have Houston. What's the issue? Completing the comic. Your space capsule disappeared, you moron. It would be faster for me to say what isn't. Ooh, I like that. We're out of toilet paper to send you. Too real. Just the number one. Windows has an update. Restart in five, four, three. We're in Houston. <laughs> it seems we've run out of cheesy puffs. You ate my lunch, so no rocket for you. Bye. I like, uh... I'm voting for... There's 20 seconds left. I'll let you guys vote before I say what I'm voting for. <laughs> oh, oh, Phil's gonna come back for every live stream. I appreciate that too much to say. Thanks so much for being here with me, everybody. Uh, make sure you follow Geek and Sundry and Nerdist naturally. I assume you are, but if you haven't subscribed to both, please do on YouTube and on Twitch. We're hanging out in the Twitch chat for Geek and Sundry as well. I voted for it would be faster for me to say what isn't too real. I just want to hear um, Morgan Freeman say that. 
How often is Endymion's Gate on Good Time Society? We are putting up six episodes in this first season, and then we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's uh, the role-playing game show we are doing. Um, it is living on my YouTube channel, Good Time Society. And it's also uh, live on Scabby Rooster's Twitch. All right. Oh, Patrick, you rock too. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody, for chatting. Nightcat, as always, love you to death. Thanks for being here. Ah, stop the frog. What? You, 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 you. You'll get reborn for sure. It was, of course, the top answer of the game. What do you say to a child on their sick bed? I can't. I can't with you, Benny Berlin. I can't. All right, everybody. Oh, thanks so much, Arclight. You too. Have a blessed day. All right. Take care, y'all. You are amazing. And uh, just just a pleasure to be a part of uh, this community with you. So, all right. Stay safe. Stay cool. Have fun. And let's do our little... Outro. <laughs>